Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com and it's dark and empty here in the Fronos Photo Loft because we're traveling this week all the way to Germany and Poland and we have a very special kind of like a recap show looking back at every almost every single episode, one of the Fro readers went ahead and put together a look back. Uh, He took the funny moments from episodes one through 100, I believe, and, and basically cut them together to be fun or to be funny, and, or just to pick the, the good information out of it. So a lot of people haven't heard the original episodes. A lot of people haven't uh, been able to listen to every single one. This may give you a little insight into certain ones to go back and listen to, uh, because it was very different at the beginning. At the beginning, there was Leora sitting around the table. I used to throw chips. I used to throw chips around the table, giving bonus points, kind of like around the horn on ESPN, because when people would say something good, I'd give them a chip. If they said something stupid, I would take the chip back. And then inevitably, I would forget to throw chips out throughout the entire show and then get to the end and be like, oh, snap, I forgot to do the chips. Uh, We also didn't film, I believe, the first 17 or so episodes or something like that because uh, we didn't do that. But then I thought it would be very, very smart and a good thing to allow you guys to watch it. So then we added one cat. Camera, which was a GoPro, and then we started uh, with Stephen coming along, adding more cameras. Now, Stephen's first show, I believe, was episode two. He showed up the second week, so it was Leora was like the sidekick at the time, and so she would be on the show. And then uh, Richie came, sorry, Stephen came in and did an episode, followed by Richie, followed by Ben Loiner, followed by uh, Todd Wolf did a show. A bunch of other people did things, and the show kind of grew and it changed and it evolved it started at my original loft then we went on hiatus when i moved back to my dad's house after i was out of that loft and then when i finally moved into the new one the show took on a weird sitting behind the computer type thing and i didn't like it and that's when uh, steven got on board and we took it to the next level uh it's been great through 100 now 103 episodes at the time of this and really thank you guys for all of your support going um all the way back. The The show wouldn't be the same if you guys didn't have your flying solo questions, if you weren't having fun on Twitter with us, if you weren't just really being there and being supportive, watching on YouTube and listening through iTunes and wherever else you listen to as a podcast. So I got to thank Steven for all of his help to take the show to a new level and also want to thank um, Sutter for coming along and being the guy who picks up the wheel and says, wheel of fro and sits and wears a bucket helmet over there. But what funny things did did you like what are some memories you have looking back at these hundred or so episodes uh from this recap uh remix type thing put them on twitter what was your favorite episode what was your favorite statement favorite line or what was your favorite line from this uh this video actually it's audio so if you're watching on youtube this is the last you're going to see of me for the rest of the time that this video runs because you're going to see the 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 fronos photo raw talk logo because it would be an epic undertaking to cut a hundred episodes of video into a two-hour segment that's what i have to say so enjoy this guys we will be back in a couple of weeks to recap photo kina hopefully we survive the flight and hopefully we don't look back at this and go up he shouldn't have said that i'm gonna knock on some wood i'm knocking on wood i'm knocking on my forehead hopefully we get there and we get back and we can bring you guys the recap from there and all of the photo news that we missed we will get you up to date and hopefully you uh take that little break and that's about it there you have it guys enjoy it i'm gonna sign out and we're gonna roll into this video jared poland fronos photo.com and enjoy Welcome to the first ever Fronos Photo Raw Talk. That's right, this is a photography podcast around a table. It so happens to be round with my face on it. And for the first episode, we've got Leora over here with a bunch of tattoos on her arm. We've got Richie over here looking all manly because he is a photographer, uh, a master of all trades. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get right into this and uh, say Fronos Photo Raw Talk. Well, let me just say I'm excited to be here, guys. And I'm excited to have you here, Richie, and you, Leora. This is the first time we're doing this podcast to be named later. Um, <laughs> I just, I'm just happy to be here, especially around my table. It's a nice round table. I like your table. It is. It's cool. It's got your face on it, kind of, sort of. Mostly I, your hair, but... And I'm at the head of the table. 
I and guess. It, it is round. You're sitting on top of yourself in a way. Yeah. If you guys could see if this. You're sitting here because that'd be like a reflection. Yeah. It could be like a shadow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. I think one, five, ten, twenty five, and we're gonna have a hundred dollar chip. What do and I have if to you do say, for a hundred? Well <laughs> you never know. <laughs> could this be oh never mind. Isn't it just enough to win? <laughs> never. Do you always need something? Yes. You need something. I need gratification for my winnings and my effort. There could be a car. Can I involved. get the popcorn machine? Ooh. We can make you some pot. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> you know what? You know, um, I'm, I'm staring at you, Leora. You've got cameras. Do you know what a sexy cartoon is? God. Sexy cartoon. Yeah. Is that the kind that you dial up on the internet? Yeah. They usually start with like nine nine nine. You have to Just specify the mitzvah? male versus female. Well, when you female. when you're talking about them collectively, sure. Yeah. But he says that he photographs. No, you usually mitzvahs. just say bar and bat mitzvahs. Well, I mean, technically, I do yeah. photograph mitzvahs. Yeah. I mean, it is a mitzvah. Happening. But a mitzvah it's a good is a thing. good thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, are we yeah. having a Hebrew lesson? No. All right. Let's yeah. get back to that. So, Leora, that's cool. <laughs> I got some space left on my butt. I feel like it'd be really appropriate. Well, do you have something there now? I, I just remembered. I what? just remembered. I forgot to give out chips. I'm so. How many chips this. have I earned up to this point? Leora said a couple. Apparently, good we're things. not doing a good job. Wait, I know. Leora, here's here's two red chips. Two red chips. Richie, two red chips. All right. I'm not doing anything with chips. Okay. Why? Because I'm I'm the I'm the head of the table, so I don't do anything with chips. Yeah, the house can't. You can't steal from the house. Yeah, I can't steal, but only in Monopoly. But you know what, what you're saying the lamp is, over that looks yeah. nice. I was talking to somebody. <laughs> Who doesn't... Um, I love lamp. I love lamp, too. <laughs> Loud noises. <laughs> I can say douchebag. This was the biggest... She's like, he was the douchiest guy I've ever shot for. Really? And he put her down verbally during, <gasps> right. the, during the wedding. I'm not going to continue to shoot you. I wouldn't stand for that. Bitch, come shoot my picture. And I was like, what? Just always have them in your hands and just um, you know, make it rain. That's a good statement, making yeah. it rain there. Yeah. Have a chip for making it rain. Yeah. You're going to run out of chips if you keep throwing them at this rate. Right now, before Show we me some this. skin and I'll give you a chip. Yeah. <laughs> Shoulder, nah. the orthodox don't like that. Uh, um, I may take a chip back for that. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel not to get the most amount of chips? <sighs> I cried. I'm crying right now. Can, Jack, can have you, you heard? heard? Have I heard what? Tell me you've heard. Have what you did heard? I, did I hear what? Are have you heard? I have heard. I've heard. I can't believe Jared hasn't heard. It's a little upsetting. What? Thanks again for having me, Jared. Yeah, thank you. you. What didn't I hear? We'll talk about it next time. If you ever see somebody holding up their iPad... Mostly iPad because 99% of the world uses iPads versus the Note or whatever else tablets are. But you have to go up to them and say, party foul. Do we Call have to party use the term foul on that. Huge party, party foul? foul. Yeah, party foul. I went up to the lady yesterday and I was like. photo fail or something? No, party foul. foul. It All doesn't right. matter. It's always a party foul. Okay. Even though f- photo foul. What did you just say? A photo foul. Photo foul doesn't sound bad. But photo I call foul, it, pH foul. I yeah, call it party foul. Yeah. It's just like party foul. You are not going to get a good picture holding your iPad up in the air. Especially because you can't even see when you're holding it up like that. You don't even know what you're doing. Well, you do have a 9.7 inch retina display, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> but still, you've got to like hit the button and then you've got to look weird. You look like a douchebag, to put it mildly. And I think I'm going to invent a flag that you throw at them. A party f- foul! And you throw the, the flag. Flags are kind of hard to throw. Maybe you should get no. like a hacky sack or something. No. Have you watched football? They weigh them down. So you throw a yellow right. flag up in the air when you see them and you call party foul. <gasps> I did it again! Jared, you forgot about the two, chips. I'm trying to get rich today. Two weeks, in, two weeks in a row, I haven't talked about the poker chips. And that is... Holy crap, that's a great point. Here comes a green <laughs> chip. <laughs> wow, Leora's behind. I know. As I'm usual. behind. <laughs> <laughs> so many chips. Awkward. But no, that that's a great that's a great statement. And that's how I created the Frono's Photo Beginner Guide. It's the basics and then it moves through intermediates and it just gives you the uh the confidence to keep going. But it it, it lays the groundwork. And that's the groundwork that I was taught in high school and then through college is that when you learn the basics, get that out of the way and then you can branch off into anything you want. Learn the rules, then go ahead and break the rules. Absolutely. You break rules, Leora? <sighs> couple of times sometimes if you're russian or whatever i don't like to rush you're but polish it happens. right and there's a red polish. chip for that i don't yeah. know what are you i'm the same <laughs> as you L'chaim. part of pit etiquette is being nice to the people behind us yeah. that are mm-hmm. in front that that waited saw, in line all day i saw that guy get a little close to your camera bag and even i got a little upset actually you know he got too close to the underage girls yeah. is what he did oh that was also quite i remember that i'm surprised yeah. he was there he never does like tla or any of those venues he's usually well Fargo and all that i don't uh, he I tends don't to be or uh, i don't here. i don't like seeing him i've had people walk in front of me and want you get one free get out of jail card and the second's like a foot in the ass. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Get Does out of my way. Does your foot then smell like poop? <laughs> I mean, these are legitimate <laughs> Give me back the red chip. Give me back the red chip.
red chip. <laughs> I'm keeping this you, because you it's a legitimate it. question. It's a festival stage. It's got a black backdrop, yep. or it has the black drop. Ba- it has the <laughs> backdrop that is for whatever uh, festival it is. What can I do to get re- reminded? Just remember, right? You could also stack them on the table. In front of right you? In front. I so could, no, I'm just going to put my hands all over them. Oh, they're going to be so sweaty by the time you give them to us. No, my <laughs> hands are not sweaty. Yeah. Hey, this guy's nice to me for one. Yeah. And no, I'm not giving candy to a kid. To take advantage <laughs> of him, Leora. I know I you're making you those eyes. I got out of this white van. <laughs> yeah. No windows. You want to come over van. to my van and I'll, I'll show you my white lens? <laughs> I have a big loft. Well, that, would over. that would be a cannon. That would be yeah, a cannon. Do your introduction. Do you remember it? Uh, what Why did are I do? You like three, somewhere? 11, three, 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 three 11. 11. Well, no. The point was I walked. I, you don't walk. You shimmy, shimmy, cocoa, what? Your feet <laughs> all the way across. You do. You, so you slide across so you don't fall because you've got like 18,000 people watching you walk across the ice waiting for something to happen. <laughs> you think about every little step. You're like, I'm like, I made it. And then I got over there and I realized. so robotic. Like, do, do, do. But then I realized, oh, I didn't have an afro then. Yeah. But then I realized there's a door in the penalty box the, on the other side. So you could really just walk around. But how awesome is it, though, to walk across With that all ice. those people staring down at you. Oh, yeah. Watching you shimmy. And they shoot the puck 100 miles an hour. <laughs> What, Ari? What are you laughing at? What did Fast I say? Fast and big and hard. <laughs> oh, is that what I said? Did I really I say was that? The, I didn't even know you said that. In, that. in that order? Ari and I are straight in the gutter with our minds. <laughs> fast, big, and hard. Yeah. Dirty minds. Well, they are fast, and they are big, and they hit hard. So <laughs> it's true. You just don't want to get hit by a puck in the head, which is kind of crap. Like, what yeah. did they say for you in the pit? Well, it's, it's not just that show. It's in general. Yeah. You know, they're like, we're okay with you using your cell phone. You're okay with using your point and shoot, but God forbid you have a professional camera in the crowd. Mm-hmm. God forbid you se- you're you going to do something. God forbid the pictures look good. Do you know who has a swagger coach? You. Justin Bieber. Oh, gosh. Bieber. <laughs> the Biebs. I, be- I the imagine if, if you had to photograph the Bieber, uh, you're probably shooting like 30 seconds. Did you know? No, I did the Biebs. How long was it? I did uh, songs. Uh, not Bieber, but the show. <laughs> <laughs> this year, right? With the last Avril Lavigne? We, yeah, we did she this year. So hot. She had liquid you leather pants it. on. Did Ooh. you see her pants? <laughs> I was like, like 8, times. I did. I did. I was like, liquid leather. So, for all the people sitting at home that always go, How do I get these jobs? And I'm not getting them. And I sent emails and nobody responds to them. Just show up at the damn door. Why not? I don't, you know, if you don't have kids or you do have kids, making a kid cry is not, not difficult. <laughs> Like literally, making Jared cries. Are, are you <laughs> looking at some of the pictures now? Yeah. <laughs> I want to see. So well, you'll, you'll, turn we'll turn that around. Let's just so we know what we're talking about. Just uh, what? Ari's taking too long. Turn your laptop around. <clears throat> it was on Google. Hold on. He's gonna now I'm looking them. at her actual photos. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Look, I keep but going. Keep going. Anyway, anyway long story short, cry. making a kid cry is not hard to do. So we just had a big bag of candy. Oh, you did do the candy. And I would hand them some candy. They'd be all excited. And then I'll just say, give me that. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Big bad bully bad. Rory's showing some oh of the pictures. Gosh. That's great. Yeah. That's real that crying. Girl, that is real. Oh, her yeah. face so, is red. She's yeah. so upset. It was great though, but they're going to do the compositing. You know, they're, they're going to do the, 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 the legwork once, it's, once they've got the raw files. Yeah, he said it. He said it. Uh, <laughs> blue chip, uh, green chip. Raw. No, I was, I was so well, you shoot yeah. raw. I <laughs> shoot raw. You should ask Rich about that. He probably can tell you better than I can. Um, <laughs> I would, Should we call him? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> He's on set, Dial I believe. No, I think, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what are my other lifelines? Yeah. Ask the audience. <laughs> just uh, <clears throat> just so you guys know, actually, Richie, uh, Richie submitted something. Um, no way. Because oh, I posted geez. a photo of you guys doing this, and Richie commented, please be nice to my British friend. He's quite sensitive. Oh. <laughs> so he did, he did, he did just got a I can't believe we are alive. What this color is, chip did Richie get? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, this one right here. I think we're being really nice. We're, we're making his ego. Well, that's great. I, I love the fact that we're like out there live. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, it's Twitter. Well, it's, it's live because Ari took the picture. One day we, we will do a uh, live podcast, I think. So I'm doing something different, Leora. Uh, what are we doing? Well, for today we're on location. Going in public. It's tougher because you have to carry a lot of gear. There's, these microphones are heavier than lenses. Actually, the microphone stands are heavier than yes. lenses. Europe. Well, I'm going to Europe soon. You're going. Going. You want to go? Yes. You want to pay for me? Not this time. Can we pay in poker chips? Good idea. Who has the most chips in Good. their stack? So Sometimes not- we just get distracted by pretty colors that like, like my fa- I love black. So I just what? want all the blacks. Why don't you put on your Waffle House hat again? Okay. Tennis is on. <laughs> I, I would love to make a joke right now, but I am not. Well, that's One okay. angle only. Okay. Why not? 
Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, I, so it happens as a as a working professional, mm-hmm. you still see images that you take that you're not completely happy with. satisfied. Oh, yes, that have hap- that have happened. Not often, but it, it have happened. <laughs> How old are you? I'm I'm really old. <laughs> yeah. Talk. I'm talking like I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna say college. I almost said high school. College. <laughs> college volleyball when they wear those shorts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. You, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I like shooting college volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Volleyball is great. Mm-hmm. Volleyball is a fantastic sport, visually all around. Mm-hmm. Were you talking women's or men's? Uh, both. Women's. Yeah. <laughs> women. Oh, you're watching the women out there. Absolutely. Women are beautiful to look at. Especially in those short shorts, yes. which I yeah. do have a pair of, and I am wearing right now. Oh. Under, oh. I'm not wearing. I'm not oh. a. I'm not a. Uh, hey, Ari, you, uh, what are, what are they called? Good thing I didn't Clothes eat wearers. This morning. Never nudes. I made the. I don't know if you want to call it terrible or amazing mistake choice. Whatever. Uh, one of my girlfriends did amateur night at a strip club, and I had to go cheer her on. And she wins. Of course, every time. You'll see what she looks like, and then you'll be jealous you weren't there. I've seen her. Well, I'm talking to pole. people that are listening. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, they'll be jealous they yeah. haven't been there. There's this one thing they like to wear. It just looks like silly string was sprayed on them. Yeah, no, it's an interesting story how we met. It's it's <laughs> it's a Craigslist love romance. Well, because you, I, I'm not your typical Craigslist person that you find there going, hey, I want everything for nothing. Ari Ari does a lot of editing. Ari went to film school, correct? Film school? It wasn't school. <laughs> like, it was how, film how you know that I mentioned it? I watch movies in school. I wasn't really that hip to the money-making aspects. And, and the uh, the business aspects of doing stuff on YouTube, except for the occasional guys I watch play Call of Duty, which that's my nerd flag there. <laughs> and then, you know, when, once we start rapping, we get into it, you're like, I'm thinking like three hours. I was like, I want a five-hour guy. That, that's, that's, yeah. that's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. You well, know. Do, and we even had trees that walked. Yeah. Well, I like to fly <laughs> from the seat of my pants, and that's, and that's a lot of what I like to do. What's wrong saying fly from the seat of my pants, Ari? You were flying the seat of your pants. Oh, I, I didn't know, say I anything. So Leora started laughing and time. looked at me. All right, that's great. Thanks, Leora. <laughs> that's awesome. So, run, run through me. Run through me. No, in, don't in the fly in the seat of your pants. <laughs> There's Leora just cracking up in the corner. Why don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so tired today. I'm just, well, I'm stop spending. <laughs> stop spending so much time at strip joints. I can't help it. And and think photography. Okay. There's nothing more than the the. the that tickles my oh button. Uh, <laughs> tickles your what are these? I don't know. Something that upsets me more. <laughs> <laughs> grinds your gears. It grinds my <laughs> gears. You you when, want you want tack sharp? I want tack Thanks. freaking sharp. Yeah, tack sharp every time. Yeah, I want everything sharp. Why is that focused on the tree and not focused on me? In Were you at the focus. strip club with Lee? Oh well, yeah. well, 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 oh yeah, in and out of focus. Yeah. So so I mean, so if it is the biggest pain in the ass to get the sexiest shot ever. I don't care because nobody cares how hard it was for you to get that shot. But when you hit play and people were like, holy cow, that looks amazing. That's you must have shot that on film and spent $100,000 on that. No, we spent five ninety five on that and <laughs> shot it on a DSLR. When I'm watching, I'm like, holy geez, that like, looks like garbage. But that's the greatest video ever. Mm-hmm. And then he shot, it was on 76 and then he pulled, and pulled focus to like the city go driving by. I'm like, holy shit, that's what I need. I did. I mean, I like Dead Kennedys. I like Circle Jerks. I mean, I used to, I, I listened to that, but I was the weirdo too that was listening to Public Enemy. So I was that dude. So, you know, it was oh, odd back then, but, you know, nowadays all the rappers are skateboarders all of a sudden. So it's kind of funny. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snip, snap. What's so. up? You know, we didn't have to have people crying at the end of this or laughing. I mean, we, well, there we, were sure people we, crying. I, I mean, I was, but. Both of you were in the corner crying. You know, I mean, you can cover... I only threw one hissy fit. I kind of felt like it was a little more... What, Leora, what are you doing to your head over there? I I had to crack it. You had to crack your neck. Yeah. It gets stiff. That's right. (laughs) This is going to be really cool, guys. And I'm going to definitely rape you on the rate. But wait till you see this. Legitimately? Yeah. 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 Yes. (laughs) Yeah. It's tasty. It should have been Tasty Cake Media. Booyah. (laughs) Then... You would have gotten sued for that. So we're not doing that today, Leora. Yeah. We're not even, we didn't even get into it. I just didn't feel right. No, I want to keep going. Nah, you, there's only so, so many times we can punch the horse in the face. Oh. No. Well, you want to keep punching the horse? I no. don't. Nice to the horse. The nah, horse. I like horses, but yeah. The, Motor in, what's your... 
and make it sing like a bird. Sing like a bird, sing like a tree. So, Thanks. yeah, we had to go get, we were on the search for, for cell phone cards, for SIM cards, for our iPhones, which is a whole different story because Adam brought his original iPhone 1, which was Definitely. unlocked, and I brought my 3GS, which AT&T unlocked for me. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm never traveling with an iPhone 1 again. As, as much as it was just as easy as putting a SIM card and getting it to work, it just it's pathetic. I don't even... <laughs> yeah. So, But you, you definitely had some really nice results with your old 3G. That seemed to work well for you. And, and then we decided to take like a two-hour nap. And I was like, yeah, let's get up at 458. Because we thought we had a 5.30 Frodo walk. We thought we had a 5.30 Frodo walk, and it turns out that I was like, oops, shit, it's a 5 o'clock Frodo walk, we're late. <laughs> and then we were under oh. the... Im- what? No, and, 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 and then when you ask how far away anything is, they're like, it's, uh, it's just a short walk, everything's a short well, walk. They, yeah, we, we were under the impression it was like a 10-minute walk, not far. So 15 minutes into our walk... We're like, Jesus, crimity crappity, this is a long ass walk. Where the hell are we going? Then I almost run into a pole because I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I almost ran into a pole and then I saw a cop car and then I just was like, hey, cop, I I almost ran into that pole. And he goes, are you the fro? And I was like, yeah. And then he's like, my partner told me to say hello to you. So it turns out that his partner is a fro reader who couldn't make it because he was in, in Florida at the time. So he sent him out to find us. And it just turns out that he was sitting there waiting and we ran into him. And then I just got the great idea of asking for a ride and was like, can we get a ride? Well, we're, how far is that? He goes, oh, it's a short walk. And that's when you asked him for the ride. And he's like, yeah, hop in. Yeah. So Adam got in the back seat. I got in the front seat. Oh, by the way, it's on the wrong side of the car. Uh, and it was a BMW. Yeah, pretty hot. So we drive and we don't find them yet, and then we find them across the way. And he goes, "Watch this." He puts on his lights. He drives up onto the embankment, and everybody's all, I guess, worried because they all kind of thought that maybe they were going to be told they needed to disperse. And then I forgot that I have to let Adam out because he's in the back seat of the cop car where you can't open the door from the inside. He can't open the door, so we let him out and um, crack alley. Yeah, it was spelled with a K. K, all right, okay, literally Crack Alley. You have to go down Crack Alley to get into the studio, which was kind of funny. You know, that false sense of bullshit, that false sense that we're here to protect you and we can stop somebody if they want to come in and blow themselves up, which you can't. All right, what were they going to do, not give me a diploma? <laughs> I don't go here, right. yet I was working on the newspaper. It was pretty funny. Uh, I was shooting film, so I had my F5 and my 20 millimeter lens on it, and I stopped, turned it around, and took my own picture, <laughs> and then everybody started clapping. Uh, and, and this was on the steps going up to the stage. Yeah, wh- when in doubt, just take your own picture. Because who else was going to take my picture if I was the guy taking the picture? It so, was really funny. Yeah, so I guess you know you had to be there. But it was yeah. it was it was one of those moments where everybody started clapping and they weren't supposed to. We don't care about what you drive. We care about what drives you. Oh yeah, that that's a great line. quote. I should get a dark room door <laughs> and have it separate my office. That's what you think was the first crazy idea. Was it, let's think paint an office green. Oh well, yeah. So think of the <laughs> ugliest green in the world it's actually called lime aid <laughs> go look up lime aid on the internet Let's paint an entire room that one color right so we decided to paint a color which by the way could never be covered over i will be your chad kroger <laughs> it was daryl hall yeah and then there's the oats guy but it's yeah. not oats <laughs> right, right you know it's the guy who's you know okay i guess oats yeah. didn't need to be there because yeah. the other guy's going she's gone you know yeah, and he's yeah. like yeah. oh how was that was that good that was pretty good Sign that was very high like a little that? girl. Yeah. I can be high like a little girl. Yeah. She plays ukulele. Solicited. And she's got this incredible singing voice. Yeah. And she's just really got great energy and great vibes yeah. and needs some photos done. And, you know, wanted, you know, said how much, whatever. And I just said, you know, look, let's maybe figure out a way to barter. Uh, you know, she does a lot <laughs> of writing. She does a lot of, there's, there's a lot of things that she's, you know. This sounds naughty. It's not, this, doesn't, this isn't going down that path. Yeah, it's it? not. We're not even approaching that path okay cool um the first one is 14 can you count down he does have wait wait he does have his to-do list there and and i'm sure they're all on there i want you to cut i have to count down from 14 in threes yes and then work your way back in twos we could do okay but do it in double time yes Uh, wait uh, i don't uh, there we go uh, 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 i'll do the click track yeah i'm doing it with my foot i found rhythm in my foot nice (laughs) we were flaming um flaming flaming I had a great time shooting. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I know. You Twenty-one edited. pilots killed it. Paramore, incredible. When, when she came Such out, a good show. I mean, Fusco has never shot Paramore. I don't think. And I looked at him, and he was like, "Oh, this." I was like, "Yeah." I'm like, "She's 
performing her ass off for the first three songs. I don't know what she did after that. You you shot more than that. No, no, no. Paramore was the only band that I couldn't shoot the whole set. Oh, and by the way, when I posted about the the contract thing we had to sign, mm-hmm. uh, they actually waived it. We didn't need to sign it. Yeah. So you saw one of my images was up on Billboard.com. Uh, and great image. Thank you. Yeah. It was great. She came in front of me, well, not literally, but she came in front of me, and she was like, uh, for all you people who are <laughs> listening, she did this thing with her legs. She was like. She did this sultry seductress thing, and she did this thing, and I was like right there with the 14 to 24, and Steven's confusing me because he's walking around. Steven, stop confusing me with your walking around. Yeah, sorry. Thanks. Getting in my sight lines. We'll do it live. No, no. Do I walk around in the background going la-di-da-di-da, la-di-da? No, no. We're through. We're through. You'll never work in Hollywood again. Does anybody know what that is? Anybody? Anybody out there know what that is? I... They do that on Smodcast all the time, uh, Hollywood Babylon. But it's um, Batman. What's his name? Uh, Christian Bale. When he flipped out on on stage for people, uh, on the movie set for Terminator when somebody was walking around. I know, I digress. Can you cue the flying solo music? We don't have any. That is what I need. I need some flying solo music. And we need to cue segment sounds. Ari! Ari. When you're listening to this later, we need some segment music. Can you do that? Oh, by the way, we just picked up a company that asked us if we wanted to use their royalty-free music, Stephen. It's usually 80 bucks a track. They're going to let us have access to their entire catalog so that we can use it in all our videos and all the shows. And So maybe we'll find a, a, an audio there and we'll splice it together and it's be like, now it's time to fly solo, solo, just let your soul glow. You know, do all of that type of thing. We will, uh, you know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't done secret words. If you guys still hear secret words that happen, secret phrases, things like that, that I say that just come out of nowhere, then, oh, like, like Stevens played with Paramore sliders. That would be a good one. Um, ju- yeah, if you see them, post them up on the, on, on the, on the Twitter and things like that. This is how we do it. You and me together, this is how we do it. Uh, it's Friday night, and the mood is right. I'm Montel Williams, and I stood 6'8", I stood... I don't even know how the song went. Do you wear protection? Yes, I wear protection. I'll be your number one, <laughs> number one. That's a Justin Bieber song, right? <laughs> I, you shot Bieber. I wouldn't know. I All shot right. him, but I don't know his songs. All right, moving on. As you are doing the film project, will you tr- will you be trying out any negative scanners? Uh, no. I probably won't try out negative scanners any longer because most of them are scuzzy. They're like scuzzy negative scanners, and nobody has a scuzzy port anymore on any of the new computers. I went to a guy who was selling his studio, and he had a scuzzy one there. I was like, wow, this was a $900, $1,000 scanner, Coolpix scanner, a cool scan from Nikon. They were awesome, but... Unless you're going to come up and hack it and be able to hook a USB cable up to it somehow, nobody's really going to use these film scanners anymore. What do you do to an elephant with three balls? Question mark. Well, you walk it and pitch to the rhino. Huh? I actually laughed at that. I had to read it three times to figure out that it was a baseball reference. So the elephant comes up to the plate. It's three and oh to the base uh, to the elephant. Well, you walk him and you face the rhino up next. That's not a question. That was just a sidestep. Nick St. Dennis. Oh, that's like a good porn name. Steven, do you have a porn name, by the way? You don't have a porn name? I think everybody needs to have a porn name. Um, so this is there's ways of figuring out porn names. And no, I don't have this as my notes because this just came to my head. Um, but a lot of people are like, you take your first dog's name and your last name would be your street address. Well, you could do that. But I just I made up my own name a long time ago if I was going to be a porn star. And it's do you want to know what it is? Steven, do you want to know? Are you shaking your head? He's shaking his head. You can verbally, audibly let me know because you're behind that light. Well, so my my name would be Leroy, not Leroy. It's L-A, capital R-O-Y, last name Ballstein. Leroy Ballstein. So what would your poor name be, guys? Hashtag raw talk, poor name, and then your poor name just for fun. I want to hear what it is. Uh, but I, I guess I should get back to Nick, Nick St. Dennis's. The reason I went off on that tangent, Stephen, is because if you've ever watched um, Kevin Smith's movie, uh, Zack and Mary Make a Porno, is it Zack and Mary Make a Porno? Or is that Zack and Nora? No, that was Zack and Nora's Infamous Playlist, and it was 
Nick and no, it's Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, and Zach and Mary make a porno. There's a guy, Randy Saint Randy. He plays a gay porn actor in that movie, and he's like, "Excuse me, Monrovers, I am in love with Bobby Long." It's just such a funny scene. You have you seen the movie? You need to check it out. It's it, it was a lot of people panned it, but I found it to be hilarious. I watched it with my dad. There's a quote for you. You are not the first unless you are actually the first. I'd rather be the second. Like, look at Hertz or whoever it was. We are the second best. And then they became the first best because who cares? They owned it. We'll work harder for you, I think was their slogan. We work that much harder because we want to be number one. No. 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 <laughs> no. We should have just that loop hold of on, that. Hold on. I got this, Steven. You got it. No. So this is it. Then we're going to do the Christian Bale version of these guys getting fired. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, all 30 of you are fired. Uh, do you? Th- this is what I would have said if I was one of the three that they wanted to stay on. Would you like to stay on, Jared, and be the editor of those three people? No. <laughs> no. Who do you think you are coming in here going, la di da di da I'm going to fire every photographer that's here. Steven, don't give me the levels sign. <laughs> He's like, well, slow down your levels. Slow down. Anyway, no. Maybe find some other photographers and see who they are and what they do and see where they go. Don't say tag along, but, you know, shadow them. Try to see where they go. Where do all the shadow people go? They don't know. What was that, Stephen? Did you hear knocking? Was it the ice machine? I don't think it was the ice machine. I think there could be ghosts. How's the time on this one? Thumbs up? You sure? You positive? Anyway, I did a wedding once where... The client so happened to be into photography. He was an amateur photographer. He had his 5D Mark II at the time, and he had a bunch of good glass. And he goes, can I get the raw files? And I was like, eh. But they were already getting the JPEGs full res exported, and I still went through and I edited everything. And then, I, and you know what? I said, supply me the hard drive. I'll put them on there, and I'll give it back with everything on it. Because why do I need to argue? I am making... Three, four thousand dollars on their job. I'm never going to use their raw files. And you have to pick and choose the battles that you fight. Are you going to be that guy that says, no, 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 I never give away my negatives or raw files? Or are you going to be the person that thinks common sense, common, common sensically? I just made that up. And that's a secret word, common sensically. Uh, or are you going to be the guy that goes, you know what? I'm doing a job that's paying me $4,000. Do I want to make $0 or do I want to make $4,000? So yes, you can have the raw files. Sometimes it's not worth that fight and it, it wasn't a big deal. Quickly, quickly, Cantonese, German, Schnell, nine, nine. Oh, speaking of German, when I was in Germany uh, and we were staying at the Ebis uh, budget, budget Ebis, Adam and I, and I needed more soap. But the lady didn't speak English, and I didn't have any more soap to show her that I needed. Actually, I did. I finally pulled it out, and she's like, so, you know, I pointed to it. So the next day, I asked somebody, I'm like, how do I say soap in German? And they're like, Zypher. It's something like that, Zypher. So then the next day I saw her, I was like, Zypher. And she's like, here, have some soap. But she didn't say, here, have some soap. She was like, sometimes I'm some Zypher, you know, because it's such a lovely language. Um, sounds so angry. Do you ever drink anything besides water? I do drink other things besides water. Steven, how much time are we at? So where did you come up with two and a half minutes, Steven? Oh, no. I meant, I meant 40. I just want to see where we're at. So that's interesting. I drink lemonade, water. I like throwback Pepsi because it's so much better for you with the all natural sugar. Uh, and then I like Mexican Coke from the bar. But I think we should do a drunk show one day. Maybe. Steven, what do you think that would be like? I don't drink that much, so I'm a lightweight. If I just sat here with some vodka and uh, lemonade and popcorn, because I have my popcorn machine, it could be a little crazy. I might I might be yelling quite a bit in that episode if I was drunk or maybe falling over laughing. I don't know. Programs! Programs! Get your programs! Five dollars! Peanuts! Cracker Jacks! And crab fries. And it's one of those questions that I struggled with for the longest time. Oh, 
for the longest time, Billy Joel. Steven, don't look at me like that. Don't you ever look at me. No, no. Stop looking at me like that. All oh, lottie dotty dotty. And I was very upset. I went to their website on my phone because I was out and about and I couldn't print out the coupon. It was a coupon to get $8 off. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Yeah, so it said $8 off. And and I'm like, all right, well, maybe they will just allow me to use it. I understand that it says you need to print it out. I get that. But it was also, I get there and there's a long line. And then my dad tells me because I called him and he's like, oh, it's Tuesday. That's Senior Citizens Tuesday at the at the at the uh, car wash where it's fifty percent off for seniors. I'm not a senior. I wasn't looking for fifty percent off. But I get to the cash register and he's like, "I can't do anything for you. I can't do anything. I, I let me get the boss. The boss really like came out with an attitude. I wasn't saying I wasn't going to pay for my car wash with full price. I was just." And I also signed up for their text alert, but that took 40 minutes. It says it takes 40 minutes to get you your coupon, which ended up being 50% off, which I already left by the time that happened. But the guy's like, worst customer service ever. I understand it says, you know, print it out. I also understand that it's Senior Tuesday where you're giving everybody 50% off, which means you have a button on your machine to go ahead and take 50% off. I wasn't looking for that. I was looking for $8 off, which wasn't 50% off. And they're like, no, we can't do it. And he's like, just pay the damn bill. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, I run a business. I run, I know how customer service works. I said, and he already walked away. And I just sat there and was like, look, in a situation like this, you get asked things all the time. It's like, you know what? Normally I wouldn't, normally I can't do it. But for this one time, I see that you have it on your phone. You live in the city. You're nowhere near a printer. Let me just, we'll do it this time. Next time, please go ahead and print it out and we'll have no problem doing it. But as a one-time thing, here, we'll give you that discount. Thank you for coming in. We really appreciate your business. Instead of that, it was the opposite. Just pay your damn bill. It was just like, yeah, I understand that it says print out only, but you know how many times people ask you for things and you just say, you know, in like Gary V once told a story, and this is all good stuff, so I hope you didn't click off yet. And anybody who clicked off yet, click, you've already clicked off, so I don't need to tell you what. Um, Gary V was telling a story about he was he was bagging ice in the wine store before he was the manager and the manager they 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 had a coupon that a guy brought in for like a dollar off he bought four bottles the week before and then got a coupon for a dollar off those bottles came back in and asked the manager for if he would honor the coupon and what do you think the manager said Stephen no he said no he said no he said no I would not honor your coupon. But he, he said no for $4. The guy just spent 20 some 30 some dollars was coming back in to get a, a coupon. And then he said, you know what? I just will go shop somewhere else. And that left an impression on Gary. And he's just like, the cost of acquisition of a new customer is far greater than that $4 you would have given the guy for, for keeping his business and making him happy. Anything you can do within reason to make your customers happy in whatever you do, whether it's photography or business, you own a store, anything that you can do that's added value or that that you go out of your way to make better, people remember that. So you lost a customer over $4. Somebody who spends hundreds and hundreds of dollars in your store, is it worth losing the $4? It's like having expired coupons and you go to the store and they're like, you know what? We'll honor it. This time, next time, just make sure that it's, it's in the proper date. But you know what? We'll do that. That's how you run a freaking business. Oh, and by the way, we do have these, these, uh, Oh. What do they call these windscreens? Windscreens. Here's a funny story about a windscreen. And I interrupted you, Stephen. It's all good. Um, when I was a kid, I was watching probably Bandstand or something. And then the Jackson 5 were singing. And they each had a different color windscreen. We should get that. We should. They had a yellow, an orange, a blue, a green. And I was, and there was a brown. I probably didn't want the brown because I didn't know what that would taste like. But I had this thing <laughs> where I thought that I could eat things. And like a hockey puck. I once tried to bite a hockey puck because I thought it would be cool. Like sniff testing. I thought I would bite test it. It looks delicious. It does look delicious. I always thought a hockey puck would be tasting good. And then there's these microphone things, these windscreens. I was like, oh, I want to taste the rainbow. <laughs> and hey, there, there, hey, there's a secret word. We haven't done one in a while. I want to taste the rainbow. How many weeks are who? No, how many weeks are you going to be on Mars? Me? Yeah. Uh, a lot. Probably. No. The proper answer <laughs> for anybody that knows the original Total Recall is... 
Steven, again? Dude, I'm terrible with movies, man. Everybody out there, what is... How long will you be on Mars? The answer? Two weeks. You need to go watch Total Recall, the original. I got nothing. What the hell are you canon people thinking? We've got the 5D Mark One, 5D Mark Two. 5D Mark III, we've got a 7D, which is not as good as the 5D, we've got a 6D, which is below the 5D, we've got a 3D we think is a rumor, I call shenanigans, Stephen. Well, I will say that, I mean, it does kind of make sense, because the 5D is, what, about three grand, and the 60s, 6,500 around that, or I'm sorry, the 1D is 6,500 around that price range, so what, you know, if you want to upgrade, that's a $3,000 upgrade. If you if this camera comes out to be around 4500 or something, that makes complete no, sense. No, it makes no sense at all. I think that all. makes sense. Zero sense, Steven. If you want some of those pro features in that 1D body, but you don't want to spend that three grand. That's what the, th- the, the 5D Mark III is. Yeah, but the 5D Mark III doesn't have everything that 1D has. Are my levels good? Yeah. Is good. it okay? It's good. It's good. No, that's it's bullshit, good. Steven. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Bieber is back in the news. Which I, I had to hear about this news, and I wasn't going to allow the Bieber in the news, but go ahead. The photographer that he stole the memory card from, or the SIM, SIM card. card. Oh, and I didn't try to offend any Canadians, but they, they backed me up and said they don't want him back in Canada also. I don't think the world wants him in general. <laughs> I just wish he would just... Stop being such a woman. I, yeah, exactly. I wish. And he no wouldn't. offense to women out there calling Bieber a woman. He's got to shrink his ego, ego up a little bit. Just a little bit. Somebody needs to pummel him into the ground. But the paparazzo. You know what they need? Do you know what they need? What? Rick Ross. No, not Rick Ross. Not Rick Ross. Who's the guy that hung Vanilla Ice from his feet? Uh, da, da, I Shug know Knight. He, yeah. So sh- they need Suge Knight to come out of the woodworks, hang Bieber out of a... a, a, a 40-story balcony in Vegas and tell him that he has to sign over the rights to his music tell to, what's up. to Death Row Records. It's like, we learned this in kindergarten, so let's play a little kindergarten thing here. Now, Misty, <laughs> I'm not done, Steven. I'm going back to kindergarten, so I have to get into, con- I have to get into that mindset. I was a Montessori's kid, Kindergarten by the way. cop. So it's to be like, so we got Little Bieber. Hi, I'm Little Bieber. And Little Bieber's like, hey, will you guys go steal that guy's SIM card? And then the guys are like, hey, man, you need to give me that SIM card because Mr. Bieber told me that I need to take it. And then Gustavo's like, hey, give me my SIM card back. And then he's like, I'm going to sue you. And Bieber's like, say, kiss my ring. And I'm like, no, I will not kiss your ring. And then the guy's like, you're going to kiss his ring. <laughs> and that's a, that's, a, that's a kid in kindergarten speaking. And he's like, that's Shook Knight. He's like, yeah, <laughs> you're going to kiss my ring or you're going to get the wrath of the Bieber. And then Bieber's like, hey. I told you. And then Eric Cartman's like, screw you guys. I'm going <laughs> home. Respect my authority. Authority. You need to calm down, take a step back, and just keep going on. Keep it on. Keep, keep, keep moving on. You need to keep on keeping on. Steven, what movie? Oh, I know this one, but I don't. Joe Dirte. <laughs> Joe Dirt Day. Joe Dirt. Keep keep on keeping on. <laughs> Joe Dirt. Steven, who would you rather I replace you with? R2-D2, Johnny Number 5, or Wally? I'm probably going to say Wally because he has arms. Well, so does Johnny Number 5. But I never saw that. You need to go... And so does R2-D2. He just rolls on them. Um, I love Wally to death. But Wally doesn't speak. He just makes beep bops and boop bops. You know? And so does R D D two too. I think Johnny number five would be the guy that I would end up talking with. Uh, Johnny number five is probably the guy that I would replace you with. Could be like Johnny number five. Be like the locos kick your balls into outer space, and it creates great dynam dynasis dynamism dynamic freakingism. There, butchering English language, and somebody's gonna yell at me again. Steven, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. I got you a gift. You got me a gift. I did. I did. I got you something. It's like a gift for this year and like 12 years after. Uh, but I appreciate the work you've done since you started working with the podcast. It's your birthday. I decided to get something interesting. It's in this box that you didn't know what it was. Oh, you said you were shipping that out. I, lied, Steven. <laughs> I really I haven't seen this, by the way, for those wondering. It's taped up. So put your notes away and get ready to open that. Should I open it now? Oh, yeah, open it now because then I'm kicking you off so I can get into the rest of the show. I don't have scissors. There's so much tape. There's not that much tape. I didn't use that much tape. Oh. Now move the box. Here, I'll move this box. Put that foam down. Here, back in the box because I had to borrow the box from Borrow Lenses. I borrowed the Borrow Lenses box. <laughs> oh, what is it? Is this a 16 to 35 280L? Well, look at the box. That's what it says, right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I have this lens. Oh, <laughs> I thought you didn't have that lens. No, I do have this lens. All right, I'll get you something else. <laughs> But thank you. I guess I'm returning it to Alan's camera. <laughs> that would have been great. I thought you didn't have that lens. I do have this lens. But you have the 24 to 70. I have the 16 to 30. I have the Holy Trinity. The version two? The version two. When did you get that? I've had it always. Oh, I feel like an asshole now. <laughs> now I feel like a dick. See, this is why you guys know that we didn't actually know about this beforehand. Well, that would have been a nice <laughs> gift. This is an awesome gift. So now I got to get... have two of them. No. One of the assistants there for this video guy said something to me. He walked over to me. He whispered something to me. And I turned and I looked at him and I said, don't you ever disrespect me again. Don't disrespect my authority. I just, I flat out said, I, I, I may have even said... Do you remember what he said? I may have not? even said, if you disrespect me again, I will kill you. <laughs> I may have threatened him with bodily harm because whatever he said pissed me off that much that I, I said it nicely and I, and I just basically put, it, put him in his place. You know who does it in the dark? <laughs> Lionel Richie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lionel Richie. What, what's that song go? He, I remember the song where he's sitting on the toilet in the video. Uh, walking on the ceiling or something. What? what movie goes to black and white as well as color? Hmm. And then the characters start forming color, but some people still stay black and white. Before you answer, people at home, what is the answer? Uh, Steven? Uh, does it start with an S? No, it starts with a P. It starts with a P? Yeah. I'm getting nothing. Pleasantville. Oh, I never saw that. Earmuffs. Everybody, <laughs> if there are little children watching this show, please cover their ears or mute this for the next 35 seconds. Making my way in the world today <laughs> takes everything you got. Na 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 na. Sure could help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Oh, should I do it like um the the uh, the Broadway style? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to get away? Because they always enunciate and they like project. Wouldn't you like to get away? How are my levels, Stephen? <laughs> They're good. Good, because I backed away from the mic. <laughs> you did good. I wanted to do the very. Um, do you know what show that is? Uh, is that Cheers? No, uh, that's not Cheers. Of course, it's Cheers. Is Steven? it Cheers? <laughs> Jesus, Stephen. What's the theme song, Stephen, to the Wonder Years? Uh, I forget. What Give would me. you do oh, yeah. if I sang out of <laughs> tune? Would you lay down and walk over me? Lend me your ears, because I sing you a song, and I'll try not to sing. I don't have a little help with your friends. Well, all you need is to have a little help <laughs> from your friends. What am I doing? Winnie Cooper. Is that the hardcore uh, version? Well, that's the Joe Cocker <laughs> version, man. I'm all red, and you ever watch him on... Um, I'm sorry, Ben. I don't mean to yell while you're working downstairs. <laughs> um, he definitely so pissed <laughs> off right now. He's not upset. Ben, you're not upset, are you? Can you sing some country music? <laughs> I, I can sing some country music. Oh, God. All I need is a dog, a truck, and some beer. By the way, you re <laughs> you reset that camera, right? Yeah, I reset that camera, <laughs> correct. That is all you need. That, they're the three you ingredients ready, to a classic country song. Excuse me as I sing this country hit. I probably won't know it. Jared Poland. <laughs> I got a dog, and my girlfriend tried to take him, but... I slapped her in the face and drank some beer in my Ford pickup truck. We broke up a little bit after that because she tried to take my dog, my dog, my dog. And then I said, woman, don't make me slap you because I want to be a cowboy. 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 Some BVs from Steven. <laughs> So I took my truck, I took my dog, I took my beer, and I took my wife. But she was in the back of the truck because we're driving out to the desert where I'm going to bury her in the ground. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> and that is the extent of a country song. Gonna pack my bags and drive real slow. And crack open a bar. Gonna get a beer and get a hoe. We're gonna lose a lot of country <laughs> listeners right now. <laughs> Roll my windows down. I don't know how it goes, but that's, I don't know that song. It's Steven. this ridiculous. Dude, the lyrics are just 
It's so bad, <laughs> but Come people on, love I'm it. I'm trying to think of something, a country song that I could sing. Leave some country songs that I should look up, guys, and I will sing them next week. And tell me what song that I'm trying to sing. Uh, How's it go, Steven? That one, too. Roll my window, star. Did Marty McFly ever really get back to the future? Did he end up back in the correct 1985? Yes. In my opinion, he did not end up in alternate 1986. Was it 1986? Was that alternate? Uh, I don't know. It was funny because I was just watching it last night, too. Well, thank God you actually watched a good movie. But I love Back to the Future. Well, I love Back to the Future also, but he did get back. See, what happened is Marty went back to 1885, and he and Doc Brown were rescuing, what was the name? Claire's Ravine, Clayton Ravine. Right. She didn't die. So it wasn't Clayton Ravine. So they built a time machine out of the choo choo train. Yep. And they get back and then the train gets destroyed. But that was the correct 1985. Unless unless Michael Zemeckis had something else in mind for a next Back to the Future installment. In this case, it's a little too late now. uh, Michael J. Fox would have to go find the cure which would be interesting. It's not a game. You're not trying to sleep with every girl out there, right, Steven? Right. You're not, but it's still like a game. You still want to try to earmuffs, earmuffs. (laughs) You still want to be successful in the bedroom on pleasing and getting it to that next level of the raw file to the explosion of that (laughs) other person. You want to take care of other people's needs. It's like a game. It's like winning the game. Right? I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Steven, so your girlfriend's laying there. I'm kidding. I'm oh. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's fun. You're like winning. It's like win, win. You're like, awesome. I won the game. <laughs> okay. You can take your earmuffs off. I did it politically correct. Because <laughs> I need somebody. Somebody like you. I was thinking of somebody to love. Somebody. <laughs> oh. Need somebody to it. love. Somebody to want oh. somebody. No, I'm doing Queen, Stephen. <laughs> I know you are, but I'm somebody thinking of something different. Somebody to just like love. <laughs> your uh, your octave range is just like Freddie Mercury. Spot I'm just on. like Freddie Mercury, Stephen. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure you're not like him in many ways. My buttercup. Oh. Radio Gaga, Radio Goo Goo, Radio Gaga, Radio Goo Goo. And who got their name from that song? The Goo Goo Dolls? Lady Gaga? No, she did. Didn't she? I have no idea. I thought she did. Give me a Lady Gaga song. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're asking the wrong person, but I don't know. She has a million different singles that I can't think of. Yeah, she's got like two right albums. now. Come on, Lady Gaga song, Steven. <laughs> I don't know. And I know there's like a million on my mind that I just can't think of titles. And then Adam Lambert came out and joined Fun with Queen and they did a uh, Fat Bottom Girls, I think the song's Fat called. Fat Bottom Girls, yeah. Dick Bitchy Fat. And uh, then Fun did Somebody to Love with Queen. So it was really Somebody cool. Somebody to <laughs> love. And I got to see uh, Paul McCartney, Elton John. He played Tiny Dancer, and I, like, melted. Hold me close now, <laughs> Tony Danza. <laughs> but it's a good time. Count the headlights on the highway. <laughs> I've heard of sleepwalking, but have you ever heard of sleep molesting? No. I have this problem. What? <laughs> I have this problem. My, my that name sounds is, really bad. My name is Jared, <laughs> and I have a problem. I am a sleep molester of Meg. Like you just cuddle too hard when you're no, sleeping? No, no. It has nothing to do with cuddling. It's just there. there's these... You molest her in your sleep. I do. <laughs> I talk. And she says my eyes are always open and I'm like coherent. Like I'm normally talking. You don't remember this. And I roll over and I say things like... <laughs> I can't even say those things because I, I can do the PG ones. Like, you know, Meg, can I have a kiss or something? She said that's what I said last night. And then... She's like, babe, and you say you're some, doing it some again. Some X-rated stuff. No, she's, oh, I say X-rated <laughs> stuff all the time. <laughs> babe, cute. Uh, anyway, bleep, so bleep, bleep. she was like, last night, and I didn't remember because this is what she said before she left. And she was like, uh, I thought you were completely awake for this one because after it, you said, I'm completely awake. Really? Seriously? I remember that, but I thought I was awake. I don't remember asking a question. And she's like, you asked the question. I'm like, I have no recollection of that at all. But at least I asked for permission. So I guess I'm not really a molester. I'm an asker. <laughs> if, if, if I was a molester, I would... I asked for permission. I asked for permission. Babe, can you, 
kiss me or something, <laughs> you know, or can I kiss you? I, I think that's what, so I at least ask for it. She's and gonna then, hate you for talking about this. <laughs> I told her I was gonna talk about it. She didn't, she didn't say, Did she don't agree? talk about it. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. So if anybody else out there is a sleep molester, please let me know. You know, sure, the, you don't have to tell them what you're doing there. Yeah. You don't have to give your name. You don't have to do this stuff. But also, you don't have to be an asshole. Don't start singing. A model named Avril Nolan is... Oh, my God. Avril? <laughs> I'm in love with Avril. Sorry, Meg. Why do you have to go make things so complicated? The way you're... I really screwed up Faith last time. Man, I got those words so wrong. Did you? Hey, hey, you, you. I don't want to be your boyfriend. No, 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 no. This is one of something. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Go ahead. You know what? I wouldn't put it past me to even molest you in my sleep thinking you were like, Meg, Steven, Steven, will you touch my leg? Steven, please, Steven. What's Ste-? And then I'd be like, I wasn't awake, Steven. It's all right. It it's wasn't not, me. It wasn't it's really not me. rape if you're not awake. <laughs> but Sorry. I'm awake. It is. It is. Rape is a bad thing. Yes, yes. No matter how you how you how you look at it. Yeah, even if it's in your sleep. Funny thing is, Bono is actually in this. Uh, Bono. Bono. Bono of you two. He's uh, featured in the video because he runs Red, which is behind the auction. They're trying to raise money for AIDS. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Um, <laughs> what else is there to sing from them? Uh, there's a whole bunch. I know there's a lot. What's jo- off a of Joshua Tree? Uh, that's like the classic one. Um, I can't think of the Where names the right now. The streets but. have no name. With or without you. With or without you. Ooh, that was a bad I still pitch. haven't found what I'm looking for. You know, it's funny, Steven. Because <laughs> I, I just, I still, I just haven't found what I'm looking for. <laughs> Do you know what my goal is Trying today, to get a Steven? lot of cash. Do you know what my goal is? What's your goal? To have a neighbor text me or knock on the door and say that we're too loud. Uh, so last but not <laughs> least. Born in West Philadelphia. Uh, down in West Philadelphia, born, born and, and raised. raised, where I spend most of my days chilling and maxing uh, outside Relaxing. of school when a couple of kids were up to no good and started making trouble in my neighborhood. Got in one little I fight. I got in one little fight and my mom's got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and <laughs> uncle to Bel Air. Boom. Boom. All right. <laughs> where did that come from? You said nobody got hurt, like got in one little fight. I said that? Somebody got scared. I don't know. Uh, yes, you said one of the words from the song. So whatever we have in stock now is what we have. If you want it, jump on it. Jump on it. <laughs> Waiting for that. Jump on it. <laughs> jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. I'm going to make sure not to cut to the GoPro angle on you that You better one. cut to the... You didn't do it last time when I screamed. <laughs> That's because you did flying solo and I just... Uh, you I forgot. don't normally watch that You weren't that paying part. attention. No. When shooting concert photos, what's the best way to compensate for the harsh red lights? I know I've answered this Black a bunch of time, but yeah, the, the, Stephen, Stephen, really, seriously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick you out. You are gonna go I'm back to your, over. You're gonna go back to your seat over there if you interrupt me. My bad, I didn't mean Drink to. Drink your, I shoot raw. I'm not beer. gonna talk until you say I can. Yeah, talk. I'm gonna throw it to you. But yeah, Stephen's right. Um, red. I mean, black and white. I'm or, not even gonna throw it to you. Don't even, talk. Don't even talk. It's enough, Stephen. You've been silenced. Why do you want to take the D600 over the D800? Oh. Over it. Oh, sorry. I meant D610. You know what I mean. No, well, I meant the D610. Same difference. I wrote it up. But no, the D610, I would go for that. I can't go for that. Whoa. <laughs> you know who that is? No. Hall and Oates, bro. Oh. I couldn't tell in your, uh, your excellent singing voice. I can't go voice. for that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. I am everything private that eyes. you want me to. No, private eyes. How does that go? Uh, Your private eyes oh, are watching me. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I should just use that clap private to sync up everything. Private eyes are watching me. Well, speaking of, Juan Patino, like episode number seven, he was a background singer for them. Really? Yeah, and he's a photographer. And he, I met him in the pit a long time ago. We should tell him to bring Hall and Oates in. Oh, I did. I love it. He could bring da- uh, John Philly. Oates in. Aren't they from Philly? Yeah, they went to Temple. Nice. They were roommates. I think I think this was the story. Mr. Hall, Mr. Oates, no, you're I think late to what class hap- No, no. I think what happened <laughs> is there was like a fire drill or a fire or something. And they ended up running into each other outside. While singing fire? No, I don't know. <laughs> fire! There's a fire in the house. We gotta run out. <laughs> you know what my favorite, one of my favorite songs? The Roof. The Roof. Is the, the Roof is on Wait, fire. Wait, which version? 
uh, Bloodhound Gang. Okay, yeah, yeah. We don't need no water. Let that yep. burn. <laughs> burn, mother. <laughs> burn. But I said, screw this. I'm going to do it my way. And through it all. <laughs> that's my, that was my mom's song. She said, play that song at my funeral. But I wanted to sing it. Oh, yes, here we go. And now the time is clear. Oh, the time is here. And so I face the final curtain. Regrets. I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. What song is this? This is my way. But who sings it? Frank Sinatra. Oh. You couldn't tell from my singing that that was Frank Sinatra? <laughs> you you were almost almost and just this, as good. Oh, shit. I lost it. I'm and sorry now to ruin the, train of the time is clear here. I messed it up twice. <laughs> <laughs> and so I face the final curtain. Um, I regret And I did it my way. All right. I screwed up. You know up. what I should do? Lyrics? I should I should put reverb and stuff on your voice when you sing every time. <laughs> you should do it. I, I don't mind that. <laughs> and that's like, not because I'm drinking, by the way. Uh, I, I just do don't like know an the auto tune one and like switch it up. It's not nearly as fast as, as any compact flash card you can get. So every time I had the, for the longest time both cards in and my Whoa. <laughs> For oh, the, the longest, longest time. time. Whoa. <laughs> For the longest since I've been spending you tonight. Woo. I will still be music left to right. Woo. I took my chances. <laughs> and so much of uh, our romances. I haven't loved you for the long did he not love her for the longest time <laughs> i don't know billy joel everybody <laughs> on the piano give it up, give it up billy joel. <laughs> a bottle of red a bottle of white perhaps a bottle of rosé instead i left a table by the street in our old familiar place you and i face to face mm-hmm, a bottle of red a bottle of wine well, that depends upon your appetite. You done? <laughs> Brenda and Eddie were the popular steady and the kings of the queen of the prom. Riding around in the car top down and the radio on. Couldn't have been any reminder. They were more of a hit at the Parkway Diner, but whoever knew they could get more than that out of life. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Brenda and Eddie. Oh, shit. I already had that line. <laughs> Damn it. I forget that. Sorry, people. I know you wanted me to stop, some of you, but it was a really long I time. love Billy Joel. I hope that doesn't kick off the uh, <laughs> the third party match software. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But I love that song. Yeah. That's like uh, Italian restaurant is so good. Where were we, Stephen? Uh, well, before you cut me off, <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> talking about the, the two memory cards and basically for the longest time. Don't go into it again. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I uh, I gotta watch what I say. I just wish time. we had a Huey Lewis track come up next. <laughs> oh, is that the power of love, Stephen? I'm not even gonna say anything about that. Is uh, it hip to be square? <laughs> is it the heart of rock and roll? We were rocking out to him the other day. I love sports. Yes, sports. <laughs> it's the name of the album. All right, let me just finish this comment. Yeah. So, being that we have a Stephen Miller question next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jared and Stephen. Stevens Unite, by the way. Hell yeah, brother. Some call me the space cowboy. Some call me the gangster of love. Some call me Maurice. Woo! Woo! How did you get that out of what you just said? His name is Stephen Miller. Oh. The Stephen Miller Band. <laughs> I know, I know. I wasn't thinking of that. <laughs> now she wants me to teach her how to... Teach me how to Dougie. Teach me. Teach me how to Dougie. Oh I don't even know that song. How to shoot. I don't have a problem teaching her and getting paid, laid for it, but I'm, st <laughs> I'm stuck in the rut of that, and I could, be, I could be training competition. Go ahead. Take the money and run. Is that another Steve Miller band song? I don't know. Oh, my God. Look it up. I think it's a Steve Miller band. Take the money and run. My mind is blown. Don't look at I mean... Role Models was good, but I think that's a Steve... I didn't even... Should I, didn't, I look it up? Yeah, I didn't take the money and run. Steve Miller Band. <laughs> oh, my God. That was amazing. You're so amazing, Grace, right now. Michael J. Fox? Fundo. <laughs> it's overwhelming. I want a new drug. The one wanted to make me sick. 
<laughs> well, I'm, I should have sang the other one. Huey, Dav- uh, Huey, Huey Davis. Huey yes. Davis. Yes. <laughs> Huey Davis in the news. <laughs> Woo! Juice. <laughs> Juice. Juice for the win. Juice. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyway, so Hanukkah. You know any Hanukkah songs? Uh, dreidel, dreidel, or whatever. I had a little dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, uh, oh, dreidel, dreidel I, will I shall play. play. Yeah, oh, dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. And when you're dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall play. I hope my neighbors aren't around. That's really loud. I know, because I'm, I'm, I'm happy for dreidel time. <laughs> You don't know any other, there's like a, oh, nope, I know no, I know no song, so that means you can't sing. What about eight crazy nope, don't know it. nights? <laughs> Adam Sandler. I know. It's time for the Hanukkah song. <laughs> yes, I know. So put I'm trying on to your yarmulke. From it's singing. time for Hanukkah. So smoke your, uh, drink your gin and Hanukkah and smoke your marijuana on this very, very, very special Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Oh, and then Matis Yahoo has a new song. He had one last year, like oh, a dreidel like, song. Isn't that like the the like club ver isn't it like a pop song? But yeah, but it's really good. It's a it, great is that the one where he's like skating, skating on the ice. Yeah. No, he's ice skating. Ice skating. Because he, he played. Yeah. Well anyway, I like that video. I digress. Uh happy Hanukkah to all of you Jews celebrating Hanukkah and non Jews. Uh Minerki, it's here. It's uh not going anywhere. Hey, hey. Some people have gotten golden for what? Did you mess it up? What happened, Steven? What happened, Steven? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my uh, God. Nothing. I just got a text message from somebody who was supposed to go to the show with me tonight, and they're not going now. Do I get to go? You do. Yeah! <laughs> Tell them where we're going, Steven. We're going to 21 Pilots tonight at the TLA in Philadelphia. Uh, the duo use me. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, 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 small world. World. I was like, what am I going to do with an Ewok Village music box? <laughs> it's, just like, it's a music box. It's, twist. it's an Ewok Village. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. A little Jared. Yeah, I'm going to want this music box. Can I open another present, please? <laughs> Tell you Postman Fro to give me more stuff. <laughs> That's not Postman Fro. This is Baby Jared. Man, I'm not. Do you know where that came from? Uh, can't think of it on top of my head. Well, it's a Muppets thing. Well, I remember the Muppets. Jim Henson did it. it. Was that the original one? No, the original came from a porn. That's what I mean. In the 70s. Yeah. And he took it and then made it into a kid's show. You've got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. Nose. <laughs> All of the other reindeer always thought he blows. <laughs> Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Oh, I thought it was come home with me tonight. <laughs> Is that the pedophilia version? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your version that you're my singing bad. right now. If Wiener, uh, whatever his name was, Wiener's Wiener, if, if he just owned up to the fact that he just said, yeah, you know what? I tweeted my dick. <laughs> right? He, not pussyfoot around it. So good, so tasty with some what nice is that? butter. Challah? Yeah, what is that? Challah. Challah bread. Challah back? No, challah bread. <laughs> Steven, it's racism. <laughs> what? It's racism, Steven. You can't taste racism, baby. Or Which so. I don't give a shit. I am Jared Poland. <laughs> you don't know who I am. Do you know who I am? So if you're so close damn minded in the music industry as a PR person to say, I hope they're listening, as a PR <laughs> person to say, you're not a music outlet, you talk about photography, so what? Do we have ears? Jesus, I almost said it. Sorry, I almost said sorry to you listeners who are deaf. Hey, 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 we miss a we like to party. I mean, Flowrider's good. I respect the shit out of Flowrider. Stop. Who the f- like? Are you kidding me? One song, but I got t- I saw a tweet go out from Kai Wong, something along the lines of alligators and oral sex. Not as bad as alligators and oral uh, getting oral from an alligator. Uh, you know, do you, have you tried that out? Do you know? <laughs> and I was just like, I prefer alligators because of you know the slimy throats and <laughs> mouths and stuff. Oh shit! Just cut. Stop. But 
A lot of people try that BS these yeah. days. Marshmallows. Uh, each is now, they're a little bigger. It's not that big. If you want to put them in like some, you know, hot chocolate, but I think that's I, huge. But when people, I think of roasting marshmallows. Oh, that's true. That is very true. I don't think you can of roast your face putting off it in the if thing. If you print a selfie. Yeah, to be like, I'm on fire! <laughs> uh, and then play that Fall Out Boy song in the background. I'm on fire! Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's such a pop song. It is. Was Pete Wentz there? Yeah, Pete Wentz was there. But the only thing that sucks about this is it's only available to UK residents, so um, okay. we can't get anything. 2D or not 2D for Alexander Koklov? Koklov. Koklov. What pissed me off the most was when the woman, at first I thought it was a guy, and then she's holding the camera up. You don't, that extra five, six inches doesn't mean shit for your photo from far back. Yep. It's not changing anything. You just look like an idiot. Excuse my language. And that's it for photo news this week. Who well, is? it's because I was quiet. Yeah, you were. Well, I was helping her film fitness videos, not casting couch videos, which came <laughs> to mind when I was filming. And I told her that. <laughs> the more revealing. Well, I'm like, it's just sexy. And then she was bouncing on the ball. Because sex sells. Doing a, yeah, sex sells. And, you know, that's what you want. People are going to watch as long as you know what you're talking about. It's the holiday season. I say, it what are be people going to do before <laughs> they go to work? What are you, a bank? Who, who with a job is going to come in and, yeah. and ship? Postman Fro here. <laughs> Shut up, Jared. I want to work 10 to 4. I want 10 to 4. Screw you. I like my six-hour days. Ah. Oh, wow. He's be 93, or maybe he'll be 94. Dude, your on... family must have some awesome genes, because you got Lil, but is this is your dad's it's, It dad? doesn't matter. Does it freaking matter? That's true. I mean, seriously, it's like my phone is always in my pocket, transmitting all the emails that people are sending, and tweets, and, and Snapchats, and all this stuff going right to my balls, <laughs> and I want to have kids one day, so I hope I can have kids one day. Yes. Um... Lucid dreaming, the ability to recognize and control your dreams is an experience that can be entertaining, profound, and even transcendent, but it's hard. Jimmy Arcade, it's his real name. I call bullcrap. I called shenanigans. I bet, I venture to say if you were high in the Imaginarium, it would probably be even better than it was. <laughs> Sorry, I, I went off on a topic. No, you're good. And then there's one more topic before we get into photo news. What are you looking at? Just time. How are we doing on time? About 10 minutes in. Time well, we is gotta on keep my this side. video going, though. Yes, it is. Because that interview is a little long. Time is not on Steven's side. Fasis the... Hagenda. Oh, it says Fact 51. Whoop de freaking do. At least they credit. Whoop de freaking do. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm like, well, they didn't this say is that. what I would do if I were you. Put a big ass <laughs> watermark on your high res images right across the important part of the photo. Not even barely transparent. No, <laughs> screw it. That is Friday the 13th. Remind me to scan that paper. What paper? Don't, I'm not that paper that's sitting on my desk that I told you about earlier. Okay. That I have to send back to a certain company. Oh, yeah, yeah, So yeah. that I can be told some information. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> I didn't use any names. You didn't. I'm not telling you who. Uh, and I want to know what that stuff is. And you have no idea what it's going to be about. But I don't know what company it is. It's hashtag Galapagos Island Turtles. <laughs> uh, moving on, we have... I you. didn't ask you to put this in there. You didn't? Uh-uh. But is that bad? I think, I think it's, it's a, a cool idea to talk about. Processing my ass. You push a button. Give me two instead of one. Yep. Gotta love it. Big That's one. Crazy. For the tri tripod. Jim Sapala wants to see you in a Kia. Tell him. He's like, That's crazy. Speaking of cheesy, if my emblem's not on the back of your car, you probably paid too much. <laughs> slash it. So all the fans <laughs> in the back would say, Slash it. He'd be like, Today we're going to slash it to 18,000. Am I done? No, it's going to be 16,000. Slash it. Okay, the slasher's going to do something he's never done before. He's going to slash it to 99.99. That's right, slash it. Yeah. And everybody's like, yeah. And then they'll get the next car. You're definitely peeking on that. 15,999. What are they going to do, kids? Slash it. 1299. <laughs> Slash it! 10.99? No, slash it again, slasher! And then he's like, okay, okay, okay. 89.99.99! Get it out of here! Get the next one in! Oh my God. Yeah! You look like a homeless I, bum or I've something. I've got sweatpants on top of uh, on top of that. I've got my shorts, and I I really I look like Teen Wolf. There's a hole in the back of my um, sweatpants, and I haven't gotten new ones yet. Oh yeah, <laughs> for easy access. No longer. This is bullshit now. Just 
Egger. <laughs> and then and then Will Smith is like, yeah. like you're going to go shop. You're going to go get that nasty ass hair done. <laughs> you're going to get some makeup. Okay. Forget Bing. about this Edgar guy. Yeah. Edgar. They're wearing him like an Edgar suit. All right. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> ah. Oh, wait. Christina Aguilera. How's it? Because you are beautiful no matter what you say. Because words won't bring me down. Oh, no. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Because you're, you're a butterfly, butterfly. sugar, <laughs> baby. Come, my lady. Come, come, my Combined lady. Both songs. You're my lady. My... Something like that. Did you put your microphone up high? Yeah. All right. I'm going to make this Spinny McSpinnerson go really well. Ready? Oh, yeah. That's a master spin right there. And around and around it goes. Where it's going to stop? Who's going to win the Fronos? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And you win the Flash Guide. Congratulations to you. You are winning a Fronos Photo Beginner Flash Guide. And then go to town funky town and make it happen that's good i like that idea right yeah right it's gonna break one day anyway spinning 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 and i'm not telling you who the winner is yet d if you have the last initial a so if your initials are d a you have a chance to win (laughs) well it's gonna stop it's gonna stop (laughs) why isn't it stopping it's going so fast it's gonna spin itself off the axis stop already don't touch it steven (laughs) it's gonna stop it's getting there so <laughs> it's still going. It's really it's real oh, oh it's, you're gonna tighten it up in a minute. But let's just see where it stops in our long show here. <laughs> Longest spin ever. Do 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 stop. Oh the wheel of fro. I think it's gonna stop right about now. Nah. As it keeps There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I think we got a question mark. No. Uh, Is it going to ever stop? stop. <laughs> There's the question mark again. And. Uh, uh, borrow lenses. lenses. And if it goes backwards, it's going backwards. Borrow lenses. Congratulations to Darren Altman. So it's really loose. All that's right. Can why. you tighten it? Yeah. It. The, yeah the you know, that's what the she back. said. I would have said the more you bitch, the longer it's going to take, the longer you're going to be here. You either shut the hell up and let me get my job done yeah. and get to you quicker, or we're going to be here longer because I got to keep stopping and talking to your ass. That would have been a perfect statement now to Now sit down and shut the hell up. <laughs> she took offense to that. How is that? That's not offensible Take You can't take offense to that. It's just a general statement. That was more of clickbait. Did you hear this song? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I had to go listen to it. It's... it's <laughs> Who do you think you are? That's it, yeah. Going around leaving scars, <laughs> collecting your jar of hearts, tearing love apart. You're gonna catch a cold with the ice inside your soul. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Something your jar of hearts. It was written. It was, was written around song. the corner, by the way, yeah. in Fishtown. I know. I know it what it's Town? about. Yeah. Wow. Well, I was at the house where when when Nick used to live there. I um. It's about a certain somebody. Oh, I know what it's about. I don't know if she's ever told the story, but I know what it's about. Hmm. Interesting. Who do you think you are? I want to do it better. I want to do it better. Hold on. Let me check my vocal. Let me do my vocal warm ups. Where's your honey at? This is what artists really do, by the way, for those they wondering. They sit there backstage going, me, 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 me. When we do studio me, sessions me, at the me, station. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I sound like Beaker. I was going to say, you sound like Beaker, me, yeah. Me, 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 me. Who do you think you are? Going around leaving scars. Collecting your jar of hearts. Tearing love apart, you're gonna catch a cold from the ice inside your soul. Who do you think you are? That was much better. It was. Was it better? That was better. I'm trying with my vocal warmups. I have to really get into the get into the feeling, and I'm <laughs> rubbing my breasts doesn't help me get my vocal cords warmed up. Yeah, it's just, uh, I I wonder if other places are going to follow suit for this. I wonder, wonder, who be doobie who? (laughs) Who wrote the book of love? (gasps) Tell me why, oh why? 
I love that song. Don't you love that song? Remind me of who sings that? I don't know. Anyway, I was like, hi, you're Australian. I'm like, can I record? I didn't ask her to record the call. Hey. Hey. I was like, oh, excuse me, you're Australian. I better change into this voice. Who do you (laughs) think you are? My sexy voice. This is my sexy voice. Hey, baby. Hey, what are you doing later? You want to go see the uh, marsupial's mate? Oh. Oh, yeah. You want to pet me like a koala bear? You want to put your phone on speaker and sit on it? Mm. Steven, <laughs> that was uncalled for. Yeah, the one time I say something uncalled for <laughs> and you kidding. call me out for I'm it. I'm just kidding. I'm not calling you out for it. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Very stealing from, from Howard Stern. Like anyway, you do all so the time. I, I cite my examples. I'm Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> if you didn't know, there's a new animal that dies every single day. And when that dog dies, an angel loses its wings. And then you feel sad. So for only $27 a month, you too could help a dying animal. Forget the starving children in, in, in Africa. Who needs that when there's animals that are dying and need to be adopted? Now that I've made you cry, we'll get back to Raw Talk. I'm Sarah McLaughlin. And I approve this message. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're going to change channel. <laughs> uh, but a rare blood moon full total eclipse will take place. Turn around <laughs> every now and then. That. I get a little bit lonely when I see that fucking look in your eyes. <laughs> turn around. You're the turn around guy. Every now and then. Turn around. Bright <laughs> eyes. Because every now and then I fall apart. I fucking uh. need you more. <laughs> I, I fucking need you more than I. Oh, fuck, I fucked the song up. Earmuffs. <laughs> Earmuffs. Turn around, bright eyes. Because every now and then I fall apart. I fucking need you more <laughs> than ever. I need you more than ever. <laughs> and whenever you hold him, it goes. And ever something. If I never make it to the end of the time, I better tap him like a ballot king. Turn it around. <laughs> I need you tonight. Yeah, forever's gonna start tonight. Forever's gonna start. As once upon a time I was falling apart. Now I'm just I'm falling apart. <laughs> Something to me to me the total eclipse of the door still open so people can probably hear me in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Releasing now. Frono's photo resings the hits. The classics. The classics, like. Like uh Start spreading the news. <laughs> I'm leaving today. Jar of hearts. Do you want to be a part of it? New York, New York. Frank Sinatra. That's Frank Sinatra. And then Christina Perry. No, give me some <laughs> other band names. Uh, the Dan Band. No, band. Well, Dan Band is good. <laughs> Dan Band. Who else, Sutter? Why don't you give me some names of some bands? Creed. With legs wide open. <laughs> Something like that. Under the moonlight, a whisper in your ears. I'll give you everything. One, oh, one. The only way is why I feel thunder. <laughs> right, and so ahead. much more. You uh, can buy this at fourteen ninety five. All right, go ahead. Before blah, people blah. really shoot me, <laughs> I'm not gonna write you a love song. You done? Yeah. This has been sitting here in this in this garage for for like 30 years and I'm glad that it was me who could rescue it and give it a good home so that it, it could finally see the light of day. Because I'm going to give it a good home. I'm glad. See, that's what we do. We get back. We rescue these antiques and give them light. No, you just want to make money, asshole. <laughs> yeah. You're just in it for business. You're there like for one thing, and Frank Fritz. Money. <laughs> what about Frank Fritz? That's the two guys. Right? I like Mike Frank. Wolf and Frank Fritz. I like Frank. Yeah, he's Frank's good. good, but Mike is getting on my nerves. Well, I, I kind of have a challenge for you guys out there because I think they're running out of ninja things to use. Like, what other names could you? What What else could they call their next <laughs> item? It's like I, last week I was Num like, Chucks? "Are you okay?" <laughs> yeah, the ninja nunchuck. Uh, you got the nunchuck. What do you guys think? Hashtag. Adamo, you know, at Adamos and say ninja something. Come up with some whatever they could call it. The Bruce Lee, you know, the Ninja Lee. Uh, the Ninja Norris. Even though he wasn't a ninja. Chuck Norris. He pretty much is. They should just call it the Chuck Norris. <laughs> the best one you can buy, the Chuck Norris. The Chuck Norris doesn't record 4K. 4K records on it. In a world where you can... I just wanted to see if Steven would start writing. <laughs> I told... Go. In a world... Where you can get contact lenses with cameras, 
that zoom in, that do everything you need to tell you where the supermarket is, to tell you when there's friend or foe, this is for you. Brought to you by Google. Contact lenses with cameras. The gear that was still there got destroyed. In which... a day where a motorcycle comes flying at your head and all that it takes off are your lenses, but your body stays the same, that's why you shoot with cannon. It was well... like as if nothing happened. Uh, now in says... a world where your lenses can be snapped in half, Chuck Norris doesn't get his lenses snapped in half. Chuck Norris puts it back together. In fact, Chuck Norris actually built it. Now again, uh, the Chuck Norris grinds his good. own glass. Oh my God. Chuck Norris... Chuck Norris doesn't buy lenses. He grinds his own glass. Did you see what... Oh, <laughs> by the way, we can see what he's wearing. Uh, I was going to say, did you see what he showed up in? <laughs> Marty, Marty, we got to go back to 1985. <laughs> 1985 called Marty. They want the vest back. Well, it, what are you afraid of? We're on the third floor. You're not, a, you're not in a boat that's sinking. <laughs> it's a nice Penfield vest. <laughs> oh, uh, Penfield... <laughs> In a vest from Penfield. Wait, let me write this down. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what is Penfield? It's like a really nice... Like, urban Outfitters? I've never once been inside of an Urban Outfitters. <laughs> but in an Urban life. Outfitters has been inside of you. He put that photo up of his two kids sitting there inside one of those McDonald bubble things, one of those playgrounds, mm -hmm. and it's a crappy photo. It's terrible i don't give a crap so what if you can blow it up to a billboard if it a billboard baggins if it's a, <laughs> if it's a if it's a crappy photo to begin with it's gonna give you a crappy output just like he said here if it's out of focus but his photos are crap they're garbage in my opinion they're horrible and this information is dangerous it spews poison to these people and this is why i'm taking time to tell this to everybody out there but you know that if you're already watching this site blame rockwell blame ken rockwell it's like blame canada from yeah, south park I know, I know. blame rockwell blame <laughs> rockwell this country's gonna ride tomorrow that the freaks could fry and don't come back to me and tell tell me that i'm being an elitist asshole because i'm saying that he's wrong I'm just saying that I don't think he's right in any stretch of the imagination. And I'm not being an elitist. I'm trying to make the beginner photographers out there be better photographers as quickly as possible by getting them what I think is the best information out there right off the bat. Raw's for people that only want to get 12 pictures on their card. <laughs> Do I even need an improv class? <laughs> I'm Ken Rockwell. Shoot in JPEG basic, everybody. That's the only way to be. Be a hero. Shoot with a GoPro in basic mode. That, that was a pretty solid, like, evil, weird, <laughs> creepy laugh. The Ken Rockwell laugh. <laughs> it's like a half... I just, I talk, I'm talking like he's a Canadian with flappy I was just heads from say, South Park. That's exactly how you're ha, talking. I'm Ken Rockwell, and I think that the only way to go is to shoot JPEG basic. And I know that I'm beating this term up a lot, but I'm just telling you that I think this is the best way. I don't care if you have a floppy head because I'm Canadian with a floppy head, guy. I'm not your buddy pal. You're not my pal, guy. I won't come <laughs> on your podcast, Frono's photo, because you're American. You're American and you make fun of us. Do you want to fight? <laughs> Hi, you can. What are you, are you atomosing me? Are you going to atomos me? I was warm, Jared. Nobody can hear you. Oh, you were warm? How could you be warm in a flotation device without arms? It has no sleeves. <laughs> Ken Rockwell says that you should get only jackets that have sleeves. If you're going to a place that you don't know anything about, there's a thing called Google. You may be able to one day, and I'm not being a dick, sorry. I'm not being a dick to you at all. I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I want to ride my bicycle, 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 bicycle. I, uh, I want to ride my bicycle. Sorry. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, uh, it makes me laugh. I would take totally take uh, D4S over shooting. I mean, I'll, I'll go to the Nickelback show. It's probably a fun show. Daniel Adair's on drums. Rachel, happy Passover. Uh, I, um, she hates me. I don't know why she hates me. I don't either. I never hit on her. <laughs> Maybe she wants me to hit on her. She doesn't listen to this show. You think. Uh, she if she wants you to, to hit on her, show. though, then she's probably watching. If she wa <laughs> Hey, Rachel, you want to come over for Passover dinner? I'll smear some matzah with some butter and some morosis. Oh, shit. It's horosis, not morosis. I don't know what any of that is, but it sounds very dirty. It's a Seder plate. <laughs> it does There's dirty. a shank bone. 
a they lamb are. shank. Sounds even dirtier. There's uh, <laughs> some some bitters. There's some salt water. <laughs> there's ten plagues. I think that's a good spin right there. Round and round it goes where it stops. Nobody knows. The Wheel of Fro is going to stop on a question mark, question mark, question mark. Fro guides. Oh, it's so close. Did somebody just yell at me? Yeah, I did hear some kind of yelling. I heard yelling. I had to pee, and no, I did not wash my hands. <laughs> the reason I don't wash my hands, let me tell you about washing your hands. When you pee, especially when I'm out, you know, there's, I touched myself. I didn't pee on my hands. <laughs> I think that the door is dirty. I think that the handles of everything else are dirty. And I'm not an OCD guy because I don't, I don't care. You know, I'd lick my, you know, it doesn't matter. My thing is bathrooms that have doors that you have to pull open instead of push out. Why? Why? Why do I have to pull the door? Well, especially when everyone's coming. Everybody's touching. So I always take a paper towel, open the door. Because I just washed my hands I if know. I washed my hands, yeah. right? And I like washing my hands before I eat and stuff, but... I do as well, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, I didn't wash my hands when I went to the bathroom. I like, I like taking the, the, the plane. Yeah. You get there quicker. I agree. You get there faster than you take it slow. That's where <laughs> I want to go. Way down in... Kokomo. But Modern Marvels... So I saw Modern Marvels tuna... And man, was I in love. Because you know I like watching tuna videos on YouTube about how they cut them up and stuff. I didn't know that. But I did. I have a secret <laughs> obsession of Googling, going uh, on YouTube. Tuna. And be like, drool coming down. Uh, uh, I Google, uh, oh, tuna. <laughs> filleting a tuna or dressing a tuna for sushi or sushi tuna. I love watching them catch it. I love watching them cut it up. I love just hearing them talk about it. I just love there's so much meat in there. Does that get you off? Just no, tuna? it doesn't get me off. <laughs> I'm not in a sexual way, just in a very it's not interesting. Like a fetish of yours? No, no fetish. <laughs> it's just very interesting. And I watch Wicked Tuna sometimes on, on the TV too. Oh, yeah. What is, is that on Wicked National tuna Geographic? Is or, on or? T- uh, it's on the, tr- I don't know what it's on. One of those. It's where they go and they catch tuna. But yeah. I, what I love is when they catch the tuna, they're like, that's a wicked tuna, eh? Because they're, they're from Boston. So that's my Boston accent. That's a wicked tuna. You better watch your mouth, you know? Uh, so they catch it. It's like, a, that's a 585-pound tuna. Right, we just brought that one home. And then, I don't, and then, they, and then when they, they, do, they, they like weigh it, and, they're like, and then they take like a plunger in, and they like, yeah, and it's showing some really nice fat and nice marbling in there. And then, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a $25 a pound tuna. All right. <laughs> All right, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, bird's eye. Wait, wait, this isn't tuna talk. <laughs> yeah, tuna talk. John Ratzlenberger, John Ratzlenberger, who's in all of the Pixar movies, he's the mailman. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. the mailman. He gets on Jeopardy. So he's on Jeopardy and he's wiping the floor with everybody. He's got like $25,000 going into Final Jeopardy and nobody else is going to even come close to beating him. And so Alex comes by, it comes up to him and he's like, all right, John, you're you're, uh, in a pretty good place to win unless you did something really stupid. And so the question was... (laughs) I wonder uh, what he's going to do. So there was a question. I don't remember what it was, but the answer that he wrote down was, who is somebody that's never been in my kitchen? And he wagered twenty five thousand dollars. He's like, Alex, we don't need to see this. He walks around and he puts his jacket in front of the screen. What he put? Well, but he's like, oh, we got to show it. And he's like, oh, Cliff, why would you do that? <laughs> so he lost. It was just. But what did he put though? Oh, he he put. Who is somebody that's never been in my kitchen? And what was what was the answer? No, what was the what was the answer? I don't remember the answer. It was like so and so, like a name. At Allen's, I was a salesperson. My job was to sell, help people, help the customers, answer the phones. And I answered the phones very well because we used to have Mark. Jared Poland. It would be like, thank you for calling Alan's camera. This is Jared. How may I help you? <laughs> but how many times have you called an establishment or a business and the person on the other end sounded like they wanted to die? Oh, I can't stand right? it. Make it seem like you want to be want there. Want to be least. there. Yeah. Because that perception made the people laugh on the phone. They're like, huh, that's good. Hey, it's great. Yeah. Plus, they remembered my name. Yeah. Because what happened, Mark Howard used to call, and anybody who is in the tri-state area, in, in this area, knows Mark Howard, Channel 6 Action News. He used to call, and he's, I'm like, who's calling? He's like, it's Mark Howard. I'm like, Mark, thank you. Let me put you on hold. You know, in TV <laughs> talk. But that's how I used to answer the phone. Zip. Zap. Oh. Zap. Zip. <laughs> Zap. Zip. Zap. Zap. All right. Hashtag zip, zap, zop. Well, it's just like, (laughs) I need to be doing something. I need to be creative. Ah." Yep. 
but but that's beside the point. Um, Name your price app. We'll give us the dollars and we'll watch your wedding. That's Flo. I, know. I was just about to ask if that was Flo. Of I, course I, that was Flo. I wonder if, ha- has anyone been realizing that I've been adding like reverb to your voice? Because she no one's really commenting, great. but I tried to, I'm trying to, I kind of found the perfect reverb setting for your voice. I feel like it, it matches very well and I'll probably, I'll have to do something with that flow one just there. Uh, a camera was found at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean after it was lost. In a world where a camera was found at the bottom of the Pacific o- Ocean, will the photo survive? We don't know until Stephen finishes his news story, but if they did survive, did the camera survive? What kind of card was it? And will there be a sequel? Don't know Coming that. soon to a theater near you or on Raw Talk, we have photo news. Now Stephen's going to finish the story and see what actually happened. Maybe he rehashed Do you know what that it. reminds me of? What? Vitamin, Vitamin C. C. <laughs> the graduation As we song. go on, we remember... All the times we had together As we go on We remember I repeated the same line forever Yo, yo, Vitamin C here saying What up when you graduate in the gra- Look up the graduation song on YouTube well, Post it Post the graduation song underneath from okay. Vitamin C. I loved that song. Now, so Vitamin C was out at the time of Pink. Vitamin C had orange hair. Pink had pink hair. Um, Vitamin C didn't go anywhere very far. I was going to say, that's like the one hit, right, that she but had? But she went on to head up something at Nickelodeon, because I wikied her a while back ago. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wikied her, all right. <laughs> um, and yeah, she got a job, I think, heading up music for Nickelodeon, or something along those lines. So she did well. Wow. But that that, that song was awesome. Was used for every single graduation that a, year. It's still ever. a great song. <laughs> that and Good Riddance. It's still used like every year. Uh, I hate Green Day, right? You do. That's a good song, though. <laughs> it, it's, the one time you'll say that from yeah, Green Day. Yeah. Screw Green Day. What were you going to say, Sutz? Uh, Miyagi. Miyagi. It was Pat Morita. Yeah. Miyagi. Breed! Huh. Daniel son! Wax on, wax off! I'm just washing your cars! No, I'm not washing your cards. I mean, wh- breathe, do, do the crane. Centimus High School football rules. I want a new drug. One that won't make me sick. One that won't make... But that's not even the song from Back to... Back I was going to say, what song is that? Well, it's it's uh, I Want a New Drug from Huey Lewis and the News. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. yeah. But the, the song was Back in Time. I loved Huey Lewis and the News. I saw Huey Lewis and the News play live once. It, it, they were actually playing the movie. I was looking up movies... Yeah, uh, the other day, and Back to the Future was playing in the theater somewhere. Really? Yeah, the original. I don't know why. Was it, it like remastered or anything like that, or it was just? I'm sure it was. I'm yeah. sure it was digital, but I don't know why it was running. I never saw that original in the movies. I was too young. Me too. Quick to the punch, to the punch, no faking. <laughs> Hunting MCs like a pound of bacon. Something like quick and nimble. I hear a symbol in a hi hat. Time to get molt solo. Dance. That's vanilla ice. <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. He didn't get it. Isn't I he did get like it. a? Isn't he like a hipster now or something? Vanilla Ice. He's not really a hipster. He has a show on the DIY network, I believe. Yeah. Isn't what is it about? It's great. It's house renovations, but like lighting, it, right? No, no. It's house renovations of like mansions, higher ticket houses. Okay. And I actually liked the show. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. And I like it. I like Vanilla Ice that he grew up. I mean, not that he grew up, that he freaking survived. You know, it's like Bieber in 20 years. Does Bieber survive and, exactly. and find yeah. another thing to do? And Vanilla Ice made a shit ton of money and survived yeah. with everything intact, thankfully. Because I, I really love what he's done. I and love he's the- always randomly in like movies, too, all yeah. the time. Like yeah. little parts most of the time. So but that's there was cool. that recent one with Adam Sandler he was in. I don't see Adam Sandler movies. I forget what it is. Yeah, well, now I don't. We'll discuss that on Frono's Movies. Yes. Coming up. Weevils wobble, but they never fall. Power let's in! <laughs> in credit to, for you to spend and rent something and since you're, I think you're in California they're not too far away from you I believe they're in San Jose or she San Jose probably <laughs> San Jose 1997 I believe I was sitting there in photo class and they had on the computer this this game where uh, Carmen San Diego it wasn't where in the world this was after <laughs> and it wasn't um, what was that other one Oregon Trail do you Oregon know the Oregon Trail, Trail? No. Oh, you don't know man. the Oregon Trail <laughs> 
<laughs> nope. He doesn't know the Oregon, Oregon Trail. Trail was How do you the best not know game the ever? He doesn't know. I the was or- born in '95. You're talking oh, about '97. '95 was probably old. actually when the Oregon no, Trail. No, that was after. I, mean, I was playing the Oregon Trail in the in like '89. Was it on that the early? Apple computers? Oh yeah. Oh, that was oh, such a man. good game. You had to like make sure you the got family to shoot lived. People, yeah. you got to kill. No, you didn't shoot people. So kill Oregon animals. Trail. Side note: Oregon Trail. Your job is to ride the Oregon Trail with your family and get them from point A to point B alive. You can buy medicine, you can buy bullets, you can get food, you can shoot bears, you can shoot deer, because you got to get food, but you got to keep moving because you don't want to get robbed. And the graphics were amazing. One, <laughs> one, bit, one bit graphics. I whatever. actually think I still have the original box that came in like in my parents' basement. We have all the old school computer games still like sitting down there. Why don't you like iPhones? I just that's a more of a personal opinion. Like Leanne loves her iPhone. She would never touch an Android and uh She touches yours. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and there's an old axiom that Roy DiLiberto told us and taught us that he who speaks first loses. So when you ask a question, shut up. Because the person who is responding will tell you exactly what they want and exactly how they want it. And if you interrupt that and do not pay attention to what they're trying to feed you with, you don't know where to go. You next. lose the opportunity to sell. I'm gonna I'm gonna preface with a few things that may label me as a dick. <laughs> um, well, what else is new? But but it's not. It's just honesty. Honesty is such a lonely word. And everything is so untrue. Billy Joel. <laughs> you know you didn't sing like once last week? No? I was going through in Adobe Audition editing the audio and I'm like, oh, you know, I had some reverb here or there. And I'm like, wait, there's nothing to add any effects to. Yeah, there was nothing on the list. You didn't sing. I guess I didn't sing. I know, I was shocked. Well, do you know what the original name of Honesty was? You know, do you know how no that clue. song came about? Mm-mm. It was originally called... Side of me. <laughs> photos. I got my photos in a bottle and I'm throwing it into the water and then it's gonna wash up in the shore one day. If yeah. you find this video on this bottle, please upload it to the YouTube and hashtag it Frono's Photo. Please contact me via Twitter whenever you find this. Hopefully it's not in 20 years. Message in a f- photos <laughs> in a bottle. Hashtag. Photos in a bottle, everybody. Yes, Jared. I'm raising my hand for anybody who can't see. I am tired of these videos too. Really? I am tired awesome. of these six GoPro world view thing. If you're on a roller coaster, I would love to see it just the ride and like your face the whole time. So you have two of it, so you have the split angle. I don't I don't get much out of the world view thing personally. It looks crazy awesome, that's why. Yeah, it's overdone now. I don't think it's overdone at all. I think it's overdone. I think this is just starting. In today's world, people are jack of all trades, doing all marketing, shooting, emailing, invoicing, etc. I'm trying to find the best way to navigate through these crowded waters. In a world where the waters are crowded. Don't try to hide who you are because certain people want you to uh, want you to fit into a mold. I wouldn't be sitting here today if I listened to everybody and cut my hair and shaved my sideburns back in the day and, and said, well, you're not going to get a job because of the way you look. And I persevered through that shit and I did what I wanted to freaking do to get to where I wanted to go because that was what was going to make me happy. I danced to the, my own beat of my own damn drum and that's what happened. So my answer to you is if this is what you want to be known for as a guy who takes these NSFW nude photos, risky photos, then that's who the hell you are, then go for it. <laughs> it's going to be better quality. Straight overall. sense? That's racism. What? All right? Equality. <laughs> All right? A flat sensor, I should say. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's no difference. Straight, gay, either way. Curved. Come on. Whatever. Equality in, in camera You know what sexes. I mean. Don't <laughs> mess up my words. Uh, but you know what's also funny is there's in Brazil, they've got the World Cup going on. Mm-hmm. And I saw this post. I think Petapixel posted it this morning after you picked your photo no- news. Noise. <laughs> photo news. Um, they're like, look, everybody that's shooting on the sidelines has to wear a photo vest. And it says Sony Alpha on it. Oh, really? But not one person is shooting, is shooting with Sony, with Sony hmm. on the sideline. Now, the image was taken during a transatlantic flight from New York to London and was taken somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, he used Somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow, way up high. What song is that? Back streets, back, all right. Yeah. Um, 
Not that back streets? No, no, no. <laughs> Only is, what, 720p they're still broadcasting at for their HD channels. Sure. So that's not even caught up to 1080 yet. I don't know if it has or it hasn't. No, I'm pretty sure. Ain't this- it fun? How's the song go? Like that. <laughs> but how's it go? Ain't it fun? I don't know anything else besides Living ain't it fun. In my oh, yeah, that part. Wait, wait. <laughs> I just make up my own words to the beat. To the melody, yeah. Ain't it fun? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Paramore. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? I really do think. Why? It's like rain on a summer's day. A free ride when you've already paid. It's the good advice that you just didn't take. But who would have thought it figures? <laughs> Mr. Play It Safe was afraid to fly. He waited his whole day. Oh, wait. He packed his suitcase. He waited his whole damn I, life I to don't take that flight. After that. And as the plane crashed down, he felt. Isn't this nice? Well, isn't it ironic? Steven, go and take your money and run. Here's a little song about, oh, here's a little ditty about Jack and Betty Sue. Steven Miller, this is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fighting. This is for fun. Do you even know what that's from? Oh, man. I'm just kidding. I don't remember. I know Classic. I've seen it before, though. Choke yourself, soldier! <laughs> Full metal jacket. Full metal jacket. There, yeah. If you tell yourself no, tell yourself yes. Your heart may be saying no, but your body's saying let's go. <laughs> and it's a genie in a bottle, so you just got to rub, 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 rub it and let her on out. Um, <laughs> I've always shot with my left eye because... TLC. Rest in peace. Yes. Uh, too soon. <laughs> no, not too soon, is No, it? it's been a while. Yeah. Like... 15 years. I was going to say. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the valleys you're used to. Used to. When you're gonna something, we're standing in a waterfalls. And I don't know the rest of the words. Don't know the words. Okay, so <laughs> I forget the question. I'm working and I can't sit here and teach you right now because I'd have to charge. Yep. <laughs> My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're damn like, right. ding, it's better than yours. Damn right, ding. I, but I'd have to charge. Who is it that sang that again? Kesha. Uh, no, not Kesha. Uh, Khalees. Khalees, that's it. Ding. I think she was married to Master of the P. Oh, Master of the P. Uh, maybe. All right, so what'd you do for the... Oh, I did their photos. Oh, sweet. I'd love to see some of those. That's when you pull out your phone, and you hit the Squarespace app <laughs> that says Portfolio, and you go, oh, here. Take a look. That's how you do it. That was a good answer. That was a good answer. Holy Jesus. Boom. Good answer. How far in? We're at 128. Holy Jesus. Photos <laughs> in a bottle. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move, move it. it. We don't have music. It's one been- day. One day I'll get around to doing one it. One day. One day. One day. Some people about to change. me, 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 me. me. By the way, this is how awkward it is every time when he's singing. For, for what you guys don't realize is that I always pan the camera to him every time, and I'm in the background just like, oh, my that, God. <laughs> that's Modest Yahoo. Now they have to witness it. They get to witness it. All yeah. right. <laughs> the first cut is the deepest, baby. Ah. The nice thing is you're going to have some natural reverb I this do. time. When I was singing one day, I was like, oh, yeah. Yes. Three, two, one. Butterflies in the sky. Nobody's singing. <laughs> they don't know the lyrics. She's a damn song. No, what you got to do All is. All right, hold on. You got to do like the cliche singer. Like you got to say it first and then have them repeat it. Oh, okay. Repeat and it. And again, after. they're not mic'd up. That they're going to sing it loud okay. and proud. All right. Are you guys ready? Repeat after me. <laughs> Butterflies in the sky. Butterflies in the sky. I can go twice as high. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. It's reading Rainbow. Take a look. It's in a book. It's reading Rainbow. And there's more. There's more. I can be anything. Take a look. 
It's in a... Wait a second. I think they repeat it. Shit, they repeat it. But they repeat it. All right, skip that line. And it ends like this. Reading rainbow, reading rainbow, reading rainbow, reading rainbow. Reading rainbow, reading rainbow, reading rainbow, reading rainbow. Very nice. You win a strap, my friend. He was the loudest ever in this room. He was, he was singing that song. He put his heart and soul into that song. Here's a curved strap from Black Rapid. <laughs> hey! I had a, I, that was a good song. I really love that song. LeVar Burton. Nostalgia. Well, speaking of nostalgia, were there any Seattle hits that I should try singing? Oh, uh, yeah. We meant to ask you guys that. Is, is there anything that was ever big in Seattle, music-wise? There was no bands big that came out of here, right? Yeah. Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Pearl Jam? Trust me, I know more music than him. He knows more music. He worked at a freaking radio station. Pearl Jam. Oh, we should sing Hunger Strike. In the morning, I take a picture. And in the morning, I walk to bed. No, that didn't make the sense. The one guy's like, I used 137 hashtags. I feel pretty accomplished today. And they're just like going around the table, like saying all their stuff. 137. Yeah. It was Douchebag one? <laughs> Probably. I want to go live every week. It's more fun when you can hear your stuff. When you say something funny and it either flops and everybody's like, "Uh uh-uh, why'd you say that? Versus it was actually funny so people laugh. Oh, and you're laughing. Because all I have is like to look at Sutter. I look at Sutter. Well, Sutter's usually just like on his phone, just like with his mustache. Taking a selfie. (laughs) (laughs) Going, my girlfriend and I, we're going to go on a trip. We're going to go to Boston and end up in Seattle, <laughs> which is actually what happened. I set fire to the rain. I am just like, what's her name? Adele. I am ju- I'm so wait, wait, like wait. Adele. How much worse does he sound live than on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no, auto-tune. Speaking of auto-tune, Britney Spears. No, I, you just won a prize. <laughs> Watch out. Don't, don't throw it, though. How's this? Okay. Ready? Again? On three. One, two, three. Wheel of Fro! All right, round and round it goes where it stops. Nobody knows, and it's going to stop sometime today on... On... The Question Mark! Oh, shit! That's so amazing! Did we, it actually landed it on the really Question Mark? It really did land on the Question Mark. And we yelled and screamed, and then I got a text from my neighbor, shut the fuck up. What would you like? You have to make your decision right meow. Like right now. Right meow. Uh, yeah, I right think meow. I'm going to go with... He doesn't know Super Troopers. <laughs> I think by the year 1969, <laughs> no, wait, by the end of the decade, we will go to the moon and safely return the astronauts to Earth because we want to go to the moon because if we put our will to it, we can do whatever we say because my name is... John F. Kennedy. That was actually it's pretty, pretty good. spot on, I will say. That's probably what he said. Yeah, uh, well, it's somewhere along those lines. He did. He said, we will go to the moon by the end of the that. decade. Yeah, but everything else, I don't know if that's exactly what he said word for word. He said, where's Marilyn Monroe? <laughs> Please welcome to the stage Stephen Sutter singing Front Porch Stair Step <laughs> by Front Storage Stair Step. <laughs> Stupid emo band name. Well, I'm so tired of the rain. Falling softly on the ground. You gotta be more emo. You don't get cut my yourself. Feet wet. Grab a knife and cut yourself. No, don't do it. <laughs> don't grab a knife and cut yourself. You don't sound emo enough. Get more emo. Okay. This is called production. <laughs> I'm producer in the studio. You're doing a good job. Well, I'm so tired of the rain falling softly on the ground. Just enough to get my feet wet, but not enough to let me drown. I've been laying in my bed, wishing I had never woken, begging God to rid my head of every word you've ever spoken. Broke my knuckles on the wall because I thought about the call where you said you'd always love me. Do not tell the truth at all. Then a tear drops from my I, then I leave it to the sky, and then I walk away from your door, and I turn around to see you looking out your window pane. Pain comes back to me, and I see the window pane. That's why I rhymed it with the word pain, because I used it because I feel my heart is breaking from the heartache that I feel from the time that I'll never.
ever have you. Will I ever see you again? But no, maybe not, because your dad's about to punch me. Is that a real song? No, I just made up uh, emo lyrics. I'm going to sound like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Why are there so many? Well, that sounds obviously way more than Kermit. songs <laughs> about rainbows and what's on the uh, All right, I think it's time to move on. Their side. And someone's going to find it and never post it on the web, and we're never going to know who it went to. Photo <laughs> in a bottle. Or it's going to like leak and sink to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, <laughs> the one thing it won't do is leak. I'll cock it. <laughs> I'm a blue whale who's going to cap. I'm sorry I capsized your boat, Mr. Frank. <laughs> But did you know I have big testicles? My phone lives at the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> under the sea. Uh, yeah, I'm sure Spot the whale. Bob Square Pit. No, what's going on down there? There's like, hello? Yeah, <laughs> it's crab. It's John the crab. Uh, I'd like to order some su- some sushi. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Got my crab. Some sushi. sushi. Well, because he lives in the fish <laughs> yeah, in the crab ocean. Meat? Yeah, no, no, no. That's cannibalism. <laughs> Cause you clap your hands. Then <laughs> If you happy alone. But no, that's what you can do is you can simply ask, what could I do to make you happy? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. This is a John Mayer version, by the way. Happy birthday, Stephen Eckert. is not the Marilyn Monroe version? No, no. Happy birthday to you. Get out of my room. <laughs> Me, son, or Sam Oh, Green. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Todd. <laughs> and then there's the confessional. The that confessional. motherfucking asshole <laughs> is a piece of... He never shuts up. All he does is there's hair all over the place. And then I get into the shower and the shower's clogged. It's just this guy is like a gorilla with his hair. All, it's just, all I eat every day is chicken and eggs. I can't take it in this loft anymore. <laughs> just carrots. I mean, look at this refrigerator. All there is is beer and, and apple vegetables. Juice. So much apple juice. There's no apple juice. Uh, not anymore, there has but... not been apple juice for three months, and that's why my abs have shown up. <laughs> it's like you go in and you have a terrible client, a terrible customer that comes in, and you're like, get out. <laughs> and, you just, know, just do a whole joke on the whole thing. Yeah, just be like, oh, you need a good camera? Here, use this. And it's like the worst camera ever. Basically. It's tough working with Steven sometimes when he's doing the photo news. He's really good at what he does, but you know, sometimes it just really gets on my last nerve. (laughs) (laughs) Is that when I punch you? (laughs) Who? Why would you punch me? You said punch me if I ever do that seriously again. I wasn't serious. And can you please raise the mic so that you talk into the actual part of it? (laughs) Because you're always talking over it instead of right into it. It it, it feels weird when it's over like your lip, but uh, in reality when looking at it it's perfect with the mouth okay sorry so for those two people that that used lightroom this is for you you mean aperture or aperture yeah try that again <laughs> this time, wait, people, wait wait hold on when you do this time this time say it with, with more sincereness like more sarcasm so for those two people that use aperture this one's for you that was terrible. It was terrible. But you got to sing a song first. But give me some. <laughs> give me some famous tracks. Uh, home sweet home. That was what we did last week or two yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, your nobody... impersonation was terrible, <laughs> so I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Kickstart my heart. No. Girls, girls, girls. These are girls, like... girls, girls, girls. See, I know that one. Next, <laughs> Doctor Feelgood. <laughs> Doctor Feelgood. Uh, Wild Side. No. Uh, don't go away, mad. No. You don't know that one? No. Shout out the devil. All right, I've had enough of Motley Crue. Simple. Hi, my name is. Hi. My name is what? My name is who? My name is Slim Shady. I don't want to beat around the bush. I want to be in the bush. They're pussy. <laughs> They're pussy footing, I was going to say. I happened to say it right when you said that. You said it right. You're like, anyway, it's two in the bush and one by C. I got to interrupt you. That's weird. I'm tired of this gone viral bullshit. But it has gone viral. Yeah, go viral. People started watching it. Gone big. Vari- v- <laughs> virality. You just want a different term instead of viral. No, I don't want Is a different term. Want? I just think that the term viral, like epic, I guess. Is overused. Is now overused. Because it's like you, you see things on the news. They're like, and this video has gone viral with more than 12,000 views. It's like, it's not fucking viral with 12,000 views. In fact, it's the largest of its type. I feel, God, you guys need to start using, there are, there's no punctuation in this email. And, I, and I'm not you, one to talk. You should just do a quick spell check beforehand. But I know there's no, times this where nothing it to do with spell check. pick it up. No, this isn't spell check. This is no commas being oh, used. Oh. So it's like, 
I have been quite successful. However, there is one show coming up which is much bigger, in fact. Much bigger, in fact. It's the largest of its type. I feel as if I have bitten off more than I can chew. Do I shoot it and hope for the best or admit that it's going to be too big? Don't be a pussy. That's my answer. <laughs> I was going to say, just don't pussyfoot around it. Well, don't pussyfoot around it. Put your foot in it. <laughs> and then pee on it. Just don't wuss out. <laughs> Seriously. If you've gone through all this work to get the job, you need to just... You just need to grab the bull by his horns and you need to just ride it. <laughs> you need to just do it. That's the only way you're going to get over your fear of anything. It's like, should I ask that girl out? You should just go up to her and say hi. Like me at the bar the other night. Did you go up to a girl? No, I said hi to every girl that walked by oh. as a fishing pole. <laughs> and I was putting out the hi and then they're like, hi. I'm like, I like your dress. Oh, okay. Oh, they grabbed your bait. Yeah. And then you <laughs> go from there in. and then you reel them in. <laughs> All right, Tim, that's my answer. This love has taken control of me. She said goodbye too many times before. This heart is breaking in front of me because I haven't any time anymore. How, how did you come up with that song? Maroon. <laughs> but uh, Maroon. Maroon 5. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you said Maroon. Yeah, I, I know, but I'm like, I, I said gold. I'm like, what is he singing Maroon and 5 And if you for? can't handle me randomly singing things, go away. Uh, they look Oh, at a cap, so like a dildo vibrating? <laughs> Wonder what kind of music that plays. It's probably like, come on, skinny love will last forever. No, it, it's, it's basically... <laughs> come on, sing some Bonnie Vare. Uh, Holocene is one of my favorite well, songs of all time. I, I can't sing it. Give me the lyrics. I can't do his falsetto like that. Man. I can. I, his lyrics make no sense because basically the way he described it in an interview is that he makes the lyrics after the music is written to just go along with the actual melody. So lyrically, they make almost no sense. He doesn't actually sing. He just sits there and he goes, Come on, skinny love, I'll last forever. Ma, 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 ma. It's like a it's like a plaintiff wail, but it's so good. Get fancy. I'm so fancy. Do you already it. know? I'm in the fast lane from New York to Tokyo or London to Tokyo. I got the good vibrations. Give it to me. Give it to me. It's not the sweet. Sensation! Give it to me, back it up, back it up! Yo, 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 it's Donnie Wahlberg, who has a reality show called Wahlburgers. Oh shit, it's the fifth dimension. Oh, what's the fifth dimension? This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Happiness and revelation. Aquarius, Aquarius. Did you the one episode that Sutter's not here and you sing like eight times? I love the Fifth Dimension, and I never Sounds knew they like were it. all black. Bad. I'm not. It's not a bad no, I mean, thing. It's just, it's just you, you know. Yeah, the mamas and the plapas, they were white, and then you got you know the Fifth Dimension. It was just so cool because you can't tell who's black and who's white sometimes when they sing. Yeah, but, but it, I was just like. I called my dad and I go, nobody ever told me the fifth dimension was black. I'm trying to give an example. I've got a fast car. But no, so the way that my brain works is it associates a word with something, but then it can jump different ways to get to whatever that is. Like you said iceberg. Yeah. So I thought of tin ta Titanic. What could I sing? Well, I could have sang uh, My Heart Will Go On, but I went to, well, what's another boat song? And that was the Edmund Fitzgerald. I'm sure everybody knows that song. Everybody knows it's Gordon Lightfoot, I think. I don't know that song. I'll play it later. Carry on my wayward son. Don't you cry no more. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, so dust we have in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Same old talk. Ah, uh, I'm a butt guy. <laughs> I love butts. Oh, God. I like butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a little bitty bitty thing, round thing in your face, you get sprung. Want to pull off the touch because you know that Jesus popping. Ooh, the something. I like big. Okay, keep going. That's a song. Cool. Is it? Whatever. Whenever. Shakira. <laughs> It's Shakira. Oh, God. She's got such a weird voice. But it's awesome. No, it's not. Yes, it is. She's like, whatever. whatever. She does that whole belly dancing stuff. I don't mind it. 
All right, all right. Well, you don't mind it. You'd be like, hemp's going to change the world, man. Just on, use bro. your mind. It's going to free your mind. Drugs. Um, photographer Martin Kimbell posted some interesting drugs! light painted photographs online that mimic the look of a tornado. Wait a second. Hard talk? Peter North? Oh, God. Did you know there are Jewish porn stars? The I did Hebrew not. The Hebrew Hammer. <laughs> right? The what Hebrew his, Hammer? His, well, Ron Jeremy was, is, is Jewish. Is that what he was? Oh, was he called the Hebrew no, Hammer? No, he's called the Human Hedgehog. 